Welcome in, everybody. Welcome back to Goblins More or Less. This is Dragonlance. Sorry about last week. I was only two days removed from my wisdom tooth surgery. I'm still a little tingly there, I guess. But I can talk today. I wasn't able to talk before. So welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, shooting. How you doing? I saw... Uh, uh, who, who did I see in there? Admin Junior. Junior 79, saw you guys. Uh, we already had a couple of natural 20s redeemed. If you're just joining us, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, if anybody is in chat can put these in. Uh, exclamation point rewards helps out the campaign, the players, as what it, uh, what's in there. It can help by subs, gifted subs. There's also uh, uh, viewer rewards. So that helps out. Um, I still have... Uh, to paint the Black Order miniatures. Uh, that is going to be YouTube exclusive with Nerd Holla. So she'll be joining us for that adventure. I'm I'm already starting to plan for the Nets uh, charity event in um, October. I'm trying to think about what I can do and what we can do. Think about who I'm going to invite to that. So probably, you know, reach out to the original players if they want to what they want to do and if they want to play or not. But yeah. I'm already reaching out some, some new people that might be interested. So uh, with that being said, if you're watching YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part is. And like I said, that Black Order is going to be YouTube exclusive. So I'm already coming to like stretch goals and stuff to help out that campaign because it will not be live stream. Uh, but we do have a couple few streamers in this game. So uh, Cleansing Rain, would you like to shout out your stream when you will be live again? Sure. Um I'm drawing nigh on my streaming break. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to be in the next couple weeks or sometime in mid mid February. I guess that's the next couple weeks. But uh, we do plan to kick things back up <clears throat> over at the storm and uh, get things rolling on some of our survival crafting and indie game adventures. Looking forward to it and uh, hopefully getting to do more RP based things uh, like this. All right, and uh, we also have Omen Garris. I just realized I still have his uh, art still up, so let me get that removed. It's all right. Camera's not on. Leave the art up. Oh, you still don't have a camera? All right. I will next week. Okay. But go ahead, uh, Bellroom. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, Old Man Garris here on Twitch and on YouTube. I will be streaming starting next week. I've been on a short break. Uh, through the extended holidays, but uh, I should be back on next week. Very nice. And uh, Vera. Or, I'm sorry, Nilish. You're okay. We're not in. Um, we're not. We're not in the game yet. <laughs> I'm currently having a little bit of some technical difficulties where my audio is not working correctly. Um, so I'm fixing that. So I don't know when my stream's going to be back at the moment. But um, when it does come back, I am uh, face first into Pow World right now and have been obsessing over that over the past week. Very nice. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, Silver is one of our mods. She's also a streamer. I shut her out. I saw her chat. She says she's not there. I don't care. And uh, if you don't like it, I'm going to have Garrus here because he's also a mod to shout you out, too. So, mm. But that being said, let's get into the night's episode. We missed a week. And uh, grab your goblet, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
sky Welcome back. Uh, Kira, you rolled the lowest tonight. Uh, go ahead and give us your recap and eyes of Kiri. Hello, hello. All right, then. Um, well, first off, I was a little bit out of it last time because um, I was stunned during the first round of combat, so I wasn't quite sure what was going on. But uh, we were fighting a whole bunch of uh, fish folk looking people, I suppose. And... Um, Yes, one of them was a magic caster, spell caster, and he was a bit of a dick. He gave me some more lightning scars, which is cool, but like, don't do that. That's it's mean. Um, I don't quite recall what she did, but apparently Mela was a bit of a badass, so go Mela. And um, technically, we won the fight because the mermaid who stunned us and the dickish spellcaster uh, jumped into the water and ran away so uh, I'll count that as a win and to get our health back and our spells back we settled in for the night but during the night we got attacked by more manticores or whatever they are I don't know and uh, we won that as well and we took some trophies from them somebody took a head I took some spikes I think I took the spikes they're in my bag of holding anyway and uh after that, we managed to get some sleep in, and that was that. Now we're getting ready to head out. And you also discovered that some items were in somebody else's bags that were yours, vice versa. Oh. That stuff was happening. Yeah, the Kenders did some Kendering. For once in the campaign. <laughs> As you all have a wonderful long rest you can take your long rest if you not have already taken your long rest i'll use my fancy new weather die to see how the weather's going to be we have a nice overcast this morning it's nice and cloudy the sun is not beaming down on you as much we had already rolled for the uh tide the tide is now went down a little bit further if it's five feet pretty much five feet deep so i think People like Kiri probably have to ride on or sit on people's shoulders as tall enough to trash do it. But then again, I keep forgetting. I think y'all have a blessing, so you're not really hindered by it. So, yeah. And, oh, yeah, and the one thing you did miss in your recap, you did see uh, three dragon nail riders flying north towards where you are headed. Oh. Not remember that one? Yes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that was one of the ones that you guys rolled in. So, you saw them flying that way. I'm sure Kerry remembers. Jazz does not. I apologize. So, this morning, uh, Deshin, you were, uh, you had a natural 20. So, what are you doing first? Let me put the proper. No, I don't want the other one. As the desert winds pick up a little bit with an overcast. What are you doing, Destin? Destin. Destin uh, would be off the cliffside that we've been camping on. He's probably walking around in the water because it's a little sunny. Not sunny, but 
it's too dry for him up on the rock. So he's kind of treading around the water, probably chest deep on him, maybe neck deep. I don't know, a little, maybe a little less. Uh, Taking an early morning bath. Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> his uh, pack and all of his stuff, is, although is back at camp, he has nothing with him. Alrighty. Uh... Did I get your roll? Uh, Ziggy, what was your roll? A four. Got it. Uh, and let's like uh, Belram and Vera had the same roll. So what is Belram and Vera doing? Did I ever return the flute that I borrowed that he was teaching me with? Well, yeah, I think we ended where he was teaching you. And I'll, I think, I think. Don't think you returned it. Because it's still in my inventory. That's why I was asking. Yeah, unless Dash and Ash for it, I don't think you returned it. So it's up to you guys. You can resolve that right now if you like. Hmm. <laughs> well, if I haven't returned it yet, I'll just be fiddling with it. Trying to get a little... Well, I didn't do bad. I remember my rolls wasn't bad with that, so... Eh. Oh, you did I'll, well? I'll, I'll keep trying to... Uh, Play that. Because that's what you do to not attract attention. You make a lot of noise. And and if I remember correctly, uh, I described to you that if you kept practicing, you might be taught how to use magical instruments in that case. Mm -hmm. So what is Vera and Barrow doing? I, I think it's morning, right? Yeah, Didn't it's morning. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, time to eat. Take it out some tack. Watching Fish Boy over there. Heaven forbid, you know, the sun is a little too much for his his pale complexion there, light blue skin. Are you have do you still have a campfire to make this breakfast with? It's dry tack. I don't need a fire. Oh, I thought so. I'll, t I'll turn. I just. I just need to know if I need to turn yeah, on the campfire. Yeah, you know, to the, oh, you. You have a fire. It attracts the attention of eight more manticores. And we didn't have a base to camp in last night, so I think we kind of slept cold on the ground. Yep. So you eating some tack? Anything else you're doing in the morning, Bellroom? No, just um, sitting there and uh, getting. Ready to go whenever everybody uh, wants to leave. All right. Vera, what was you doing? Just still messing with the flute or? Yeah, I'm just going to play with the flute. All right. Give me a performance check. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Nice. Uh, as you're sitting there playing the flute, Dashton, you can probably feel like your lesson last night kind of made some real headway. How, uh, how much distance is there vertically from where I am in the water to where Vera is? Uh, it depends on where you went out. If you remember the last layout, you were still in that long pretty patch of uh, rock. And yeah, uh, the elevation, was it like 20 Yeah, the feet? elevation was like the elevation was 20, but now it's like because it's lower, so it's probably uh, 35 feet. Okay. Well, then I, I will uh, <clears throat> shout a compliment up. Um, are you sure you've never played that before? Very sure. I usually just sing. Um less interested in the ocean now and more interested in this he begins to descend but i figure it'll take or ascend rather back climb, up the hill climb up yep uh, okay. i figure that'll take about a minute if anybody else has a quick tidbit of a conversation yeah um, you know, we should probably get rid of we should get rid of all these loose rocks that are up here because <laughs> you know it's, it's really dangerous especially if we're in combat again so we should just like push them off the edge of of this cliff. 
Well, Mela, Ziggy, and Kira, you hear Bellworm saying this. What are y'all doing as Carrie? he's saying this? I'm looking right at Carrie. Do I know that Deschen's down there? What's your well, perception? I know check? that what's his name does, that Bellroom does, because he just said, watch an elf boy play in the water. My passive perception is 14. Oh, sure. I don't, he's not trying to hide from you, so yeah. And imagine you can hear splashing of water and stuff, so. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what do we do? Like strength? Sure. I'm just picking up. Yeah, let's just push. Well, give me a survival check. What type of boulder, like, what type of rocks are you trying to push over? Like, Oh, not too big. Like, smaller than head size. Okay. Uh, you obviously find some pebbles if you want to throw down, but then you find, like, more of a melon-sized rocks, if you like. If I know exactly where Das Chen is, I want to push the melon-sized rock like right next to him, but not actually hit him. Yeah, I mean, it's it's helping it so he could stand on that to get up here. Yeah, yeah. So question I need to know, are you just rolling off the edge or are you picking them up and throwing them? Because rolling off the edge is going to make the, the edge of the cliff is going to decide where the rock is going to go. I really don't have the strength to like lift it, but I don't want to actually hurt him I mean you you already did slice his throat so yeah but that was that was that was a few days ago you know and if he could survive that yeah he's True. had enough respect to get hit with a rock rather than you know I'm sure he's guaranteed. very nimble and think of the wonderful music that he'll be able to Sing with this kind of inspiration. Mm. Survival stories, yes. Betrayal All right, you convinced me. Let's push it. Ones. Hear the song coming on now. Man, I, I I want you to plug that guitar in. I'm telling you, man, you got to do it. Just clone hero. Just you got to do it. All right, so both y'all rolling this like melon sized rock down. Yerp. Are you trying to aim to hit him, or are you just going to let the... Trying the... to aim not to hit him. Yeah, not aiming at him. Well, sounds like just one is him. trying to, and one is trying not to. You know, if it happens to... You know, gravity's a weird thing, okay? <laughs> I have no control over that. All right. Both y'all... or One of y'all... Both y'all can give a strength check, or you other one can roll with advantage for assisting. Oh, and, and it's Bell stone with handling. Advantage. It's right. stone handling, isn't it? Gee, if only dwarves were good at that. Uh, Dash, and I'm going to need a higher low from you. Uh, what do you mean by that? I'm rolling a percentile dial. Are you telling me if you're high, if it's high or low? I'm basically rolling a D100. If it's above fifty, that means it's high. If it's low, is or below. Oh. So you're okay. you're yeah. And so I'm just guessing, heads or tails kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, basically. All right. Uh low. Well, unfortunately, my friend. As you're climbing up, you see this melon sized boulder. Uh, uh boulder's a little strong, but melon sized hefty rock rolling down the side. I need that you to give me a dexterity saving throw. As it hits another uh, sticking out rock and it just starts hurling towards you as you're climbing up. Uh oh. I got a 22. 16 22. Plus. As you, thankfully, you see it just enough time as it's. You're like, oh. Hey, I'm climbing here. Carrie just sort of pops her head over the side of the cliff to look at you and be like, yeah, isn't it fun? Must you kill me every 24 hours? It's not gonna kill you. And she pops back. That's all I can do to hold that in. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in this party, except for Ziggy and Mela, have murdered me at, or hit me at some point. Well, Speaking you of. You just have to wait. Ziggy does it, you know, by accident. Ziggy and Mela, what are y'all doing Probably since y'all haven't. Since y'all haven't described what you're doing this early morning. 
Uh, Mela is going to say a quick prayer. She gets up and like um, puts away her bedroll and whatnot. Um, and then she's going to make her way over to Vera. I didn't know you could play play some music like that. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Uh, Dashin was uh, showing me a little bit during watch. Well, you sound great. Uh, Thank have you. you had breakfast yet? I have not. I'm going to pull out uh, the portion of sweetbread that I saved for her and Kiri and break it in half. Bailroom gave me this last night. It tastes really good. You should try some. Sweetbread, yes. I think you tried to give that to me once before. Do you like sweet bread? I'd never tried it before. It's good. Do you want some I'll now? Definitely this is the last <laughs> I definitely will accept. Right. I better go see what Carrie's up to. It doesn't sound like they're doing something good over there. And I'll wait, make my way know. over to Carrie. Looks like they're building a <laughs> park there. Oh, you maybe. just see a mad cackling from Carrie. <laughs> Siggy, what are you doing? Um, i uh, not trying to murder any party members yet. It's still just, you know, morning time. Uh, Ziggy, uh, he woke up a little early from everybody. He's been scanning the horizon, looking for a dragon sign as he, uh, you know, slowly packed up uh, bed rolls and camps and stuff like that. While he's doing that, Stardust has been down the river, kind of licking his lips, looking at little silvery fish go by uh he's almost tried to jump at some of the fish but he's not really uh you know confident in the, in, the, in in fishing that way and stuff like that um and then ziggy's gonna try to he knows how to like start a a, a this like uh like a, a small campfire in such a way that it can't be seen in the distance it's like a small cooking campfire that he learned how to do uh you know from from uh you know scout uh, elvish scouts and stuff like that um and he's gonna That's attempt fire. Yeah, he's going to attempt. He's got a few strips of manticore bacon, uh, the fatty bit, you know, that, that he got off the, the, the rump and stuff. And he's going to attempt to uh, make us all uh, 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 some some nice manticore bacon for breakfast. So that would be percep to see, perception check to see if he saw any dragon signs and some sort of check to see if he uh, can cook bacon, right? So you're trying to see if you saw dragons where on the, uh, I would just say he like, as he's waking up, he's like scanning the, uh, you oh. know, uh, in a, in a discerning sort of, uh, studying the distance way. Yep. We're just looking for any sign of, uh, crazy flying creatures or anything like that. So it it up dust and rubbing it, letting it drop. Yeah. Uh, give me yeah I wish him like he bought like a spy glass. I got a 13. 13. Oh, there's still beach. All right. Uh, 13 uh, with the overcast and the clouds. Can't really make out anything discerning of that type of nature that you're looking for. Um, and what was the other check you were trying to do? Survival to what? Uh, yeah, I was uh, going to attempt to um, start a uh, mini cooking fire that can't be observed by in the distance by enemies and cook some manticore bacon. What do you have to start this fire with? Um, I would say that I think I probably still have like the basic inventory starts with like tender and stuff like that. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure um, you, you still had it. So yeah. Tender box, that kind of thing. Give me some um, check, see if you can get it started. Cause there is sure. water and you've been in water. See if it's dried out good enough yet. Got a, a twenty-eight on starting a fire. <laughs> Saving yeah, these, these. Yeah, good it's not rolls. too damp. Good enough, and you're able to get a fire started. Awesome. I can actually use the campfire sound now. <laughs> That's the whole reason I came up with that. Also, I think I'm, I'm going to try. I know that everyone just loves their hard task, but like Ziggy really likes seeing like what he can, you know, uh, get out of the local system. Uh, fish, that kind of thing. And so he's really excited about trying to make a bunch of manticore bacon for everybody, including um, uh, a serving for, um, God, what's the thing's name? Right, Righty Roo. Righty Roo. Right. Yes, right. He's, he's got, everyone's getting a piece. All right. 
Would yeah. that be yeah. a pound? A pound of, yeah, a pound of manicure bacon, sure. Cool. And we'll cook it up. I'm cutting it up. Give me a performance under, check to like, see you know, how good you make stuff. it. All right, this one I want the good roll on, though. But, you know, anyway, here we go. Ha! Nat 20. Nice. So, it's so not... So, 22. They're not quite like dragons, but... You envision, like, you're cooking dragon meat within it, and you put all your love <laughs> and passion of you have for dragons into this meat that you even forgot to summon Stardust this morning, and you're cooking this meat, and you cook very well it tastes very well too why well, ziggy what's that you've got over there it's the best smelling thing i've smelled come out of this camp yeah i'm pretty excited about it uh this is uh, a famous uh recipe manticore uh bacon it's all the fattiest bits it's dripping it's tasty uh i don't know i didn't make anything else uh so just eating a, a pile of bacon for breakfast uh, 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 but, uh, enjoy. You had me at bacon. <laughs> For some reason, yeah, this party's real into bacon. I want to see what Didgeridoo thinks of the bacon, though. <laughs> Didgeridoo. <laughs> Didgeridoo. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, I wasn't even on purpose. Right, righty, righty roo. Uh, righty roo! Righty roo! Yeah, righty, righty roo. roo. I, here's some precious manicore bacon, and I, I'm going to try to. Uh, uh, put it in the bag. He's in bacon for you, right, Aru? Remember, whoever holds it is when he talks to. Are you going to hold right, Aru, in your hand to do it? Oh, uh, hold yeah, him well, out. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming he... Carrie's holding it out like this, and I'm just going to shove a piece of bacon. Hey, hey my mouth don't open that wide. <laughs> oh, that kind of actually kind of hurt. Because I'm out too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Well, it's like in strips. Not so fast. So like Not feeding, so fast. Yeah, feeding feeding strips of bacon uh, into it. One piece at a time. I'm not Baz, going there. Baz is yep. glaring at the bag, <laughs> just uh, like rolling his eyes about the bag. You don't hear it. You you don't hear Rideru at all. But Ragaru woke up the party for me three weeks ago. When mm. I reached oh, that's because him. I detected you. Oh, I thought that it was because Ragaru screamed when I put my hand in it. Yeah, yeah. So whoever's holding it is the only ones that can hear it. It's also, just... Ragaru screamed. I heard it, and then I screamed. <laughs> well, he was reaching his hand into Ragaru, so it's technically. He... Because you were touching right away, you were oh, able to... Oh, but Carrie was holding it. Okay, yep, yeah, yeah. Because it was on her belt. I, got yeah, I mean, both of y'all heard it because you were actually touching it and you, she was holding... Yeah, so... Anybody that's touching or holding right away can hear him when he talks. Anybody else does not hear him when he, unless you're actually holding or touching him. But you can, semantics. Yeah. <laughs> Just you know, decided to make it a sentient bag because nobody's ever asked for its name, so it's wanted to reward the players on it. And now it's just kind of morphed, kind of like how Maeve was in Icewind Dale. Just everybody's falling in love with it. So, all right. So you have your breakfast, have your tack, you have took in your taking your bath. What would y'all like to do? Where were we going again? What was the purpose of this journey? Champ Carrie and Clay. We're trying to go rescue some of his kin for oh. some reason. We should probably well, do I that, mean, yeah? Dictators, yeah. but Did we have a direction we were traveling in? Towards a goal? Well now we're we going down do. this never ending the canyon. dragons. Hmm. Yeah, it was marked on your map. I think it was G or yeah. C or something like that. Uh, I say we'd start marching in that direction as quickly as possible and do some like heroics. Let's do some heroing. Uh, Camp Karen Clay is number I on that uh, map I sent you guys for voice. Wait, notes. aren't we supposed to be rescuing someone? Yeah, camp yeah from camp. this camp. So did well, we start at heroic. E or D? Hmm? Where did we start? Did we start at E, D, C? 
Uh, you started at the uh, Wrecker's Edge, which was A. You traveled up to the Asiles Inn. That was the Elven Encampment. And then y'all went to C, which was the Blue Shrine Phoenix. Um, and y'all been headed to I, which is all the way up north. Huh. Right. So you're about... You're in, somewhere in between I and E, which was uh, between Stormstep and the... Sky's Tears. Um, We're literally in the Eastern Maze. That's why yeah. it's taken forever. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty treacherous. That's why it keeps flooding out, and this is what y'all been having. All right. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Has the water changed level at all, or are we still just kind of trapped well, you... on islands? It's five feet. Five feet deep. Oh. Well, we could ford that. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess the kinders can. We will ride on your shoulders. Just yours. There's only one human. <laughs> or, uh, Well, I guess there's an elf and a human. Uh, but yeah, we got like four or five short people plus stardust we got to transport. Fergly challenge, Fergly challenge. Sure. And then uh, one of y'all can summon uh, something to ride on. I could if I wanted to waste a spell. <laughs> I mean, that spells are not only for combat; they're for stuff like this to transfer, get around, and stuff. But then it's again, the perfect time for me to learn to swim. What are you talking about? <laughs> You can still drown in five feet of water because you're only, what, four feet tall? <laughs> All right. I don't know if I prepared that one, though. We did just take a rest, right? I don't think I even changed any of my spells yet. All right. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, let's see. Where is the stuff? I don't care. I don't have that. it prepared. Well, since I we mean, took a long rest, you can probably... Like, I, I, when uh, Mela said she was going to pray, I figured that's when she's preparing her spells. They'll go for you, too. I need somebody to roll me a d20. Nine. Very nice. As you're transferring, going through the water, heading north... Every now and then you find a couple more cliffs that you can walk on heading towards. First part of the day goes without issue. You don't really see anything. It's about midday now. So if there's anything you want to talk about on the way to the midday, go right ahead while you're walking. But you don't see anything that out of ordinary other than maybe you might see some trout here and there if you want to catch that or something. But there's nothing like that's going to come out in tech that you have seen once mm -hmm. so if, if you want to have any conversations on this we can just go through the day I guess I'm on Ziggy's shoulders <laughs> I spy with my little eye what nobody's going to stop me something I was, I was beginning yeah. with it's the game. We've got to wait. Yeah. <laughs> what? Beginning with what? What? You mean with a W? What's that? It started with a what? As in water. Yeah, how'd you know? Because <laughs> it's the Lucky only thing guess. to spy in this whole area. <laughs> there's guess. nothing else. There's nothing else to spy. There's clouds, there's cliffs, there's trout I mentioned. Do you guys remember, have we seen dragon riders? Have we seen people riding a dragon? Like dragon elves. Drag dragon elves. Dragon elves. Yesterday, riders. this morning, during the night, some point. Like when you fought the dragon back at that fort, was it like someone riding the dragon at all? Or was I it think he was dragon? in a stable. He was in a stable? Oh, okay. Uh, if y'all remember the... correctly, he was riding it, but he was ripped off the saddle. I think it was by. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, no, Good. 
No, it wasn't ripped off by Barrowman. I think uh, Laura, when cast a spell, uh... oh, she teleported it. Yeah, she teleported yeah, it somewhere. I think she did Missy Step. I think it was not awesome. Missy Step, but Vortex Warp. I think that's what she did. Yep, she did, and then I pushed him off the edge of the roof and then jumped out on top of him and nice. killed him. Oh, you weren't there. Oh, yeah. That's I after I spoke out. with the Dragon L. It was pretty yeah. cool. You should have been there. I wish I was. I Did we uh, did we see any uh, riders on drag? The dragon we fought yesterday was just a dragon by itself, right? Looking at the DM. Oh, you already seen <laughs> one. You yeah, fight a dragon all. yesterday. Day before uh, yesterday. Did we see one? We I saw mean, one, right? You saw the a dragon. dragon yeah, you saw a regular dragon L. There was no rider. We on. we we fought a dragon and a killer whale a and a shark. Not not with the mermaids, but the episode before that. But technically, it still would have been the same day. I think is what he's saying. Ooh, no, no, day. it was it was the day before. The sharks. Yeah, that was the day before. You know, traveled and y'all took a long rest and you saw the manticore in the You're right, you're right, you're right. You're in dorm and Dashner was so fascinated by the undercarriage. And then the next day is when y'all fall the nice. yeah. So yeah, the day before you saw another dragon L that was hungry, so but it was no rider on it. It didn't have any like armor from the dragon armor or anything like that. But the ones that you saw at the end of your watch, though you saw three of them, and you saw riders on the back, like flying away from you towards the north. So there were riders on the dragons we watched at the end of your watch. Yes. Last night. Okay, good. We definitely should follow those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're marching in that direction. I'm just talking about uh, my talking about the way we're going as we're going. All right. Uh, does anybody want to have any other conversations? If you were allowing me to prepare that spell, I will su uh, summon Hydrin so that I am not drowning. <laughs> so you have your giant elk out? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's big enough to... Um, that both you and Melly could ride on it. Do you like a ride, Mella? Man, sure. you know... I, I sort of remember somebody can do something with horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that, right, right. Yeah. Can summon. He, I think he oh, are you talking about that, like, horse magic charm thing? Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can use that. I think I just did it once, though. Like, I summon a horse for 24 hours, then I never I think, use I think it again, you can but... do it twice, I think. Oh, okay. I'm I'm happy to order you guys up a horse if you if you feel you need it. Um, I don't know even where I put notes on that at this point. Uh, let's see. Well, Belram, do you feel you need it? Are you incapable of walking or swimming like the rest of us? You must rely on some other beast to help you cross this puddle. Very happily me? kicks her feet on Ziggy's back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you have a problem with your vision? I'm able to walk in here. There are others in need. Oh, you're not good with people in need. Never, it's okay. See, those in the party, we try to help one another. Not steal. I mean, within reason. Well, yeah, I mean, besides shooting our, each other in the back. Or axes to the chest or knives to the throat. No, no. You weren't in the party then. So it's all okay. Ziggy, well, uh, it's in your uh, notes and your others. Yeah, I see that. All right. Um, well, uh, do, does, do, I mean, is a horse the best thing to deal with five feet of water? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll summon a horse if you guys. I mean, you... how tall, how tall were the horses? Are they, uh, like I mean, it's a heroic steed, Are they it's like ponies? It's a war horse. War horse. It was pretty a big, large right? beast. Yeah. I also want to point. I don't know, like how the like are the if the halflings are an official size down or whatever, but uh, uh, one of them could ride. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Kinder. Uh, one uh, one of them could ride Stardust. Hey, when does Stardust get his wings? Uh, level seven. Okay. Um, because that's gonna be cool. 
Well, level 70 also gets big enough for uh, to be ridden by medium by me, a uh, medium-sized creature or whatever. So I would imagine he's big enough now to be ridden by a Kento. Yeah, I'll allow like people like Carrie if you're because she's very, very vertically challenged to ride it. And then, uh, well, my, I guess my question is 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 Stardust himself taller than five feet? No. Is he? How about the uh, Ziggy's walking along? Stardust is wrapped, uh, you know, tried to fault waters up to here. Stardust is kind of wrapped around his head. You haven't summoned Carrie's him yet. Carrie's perched on top of on top of Stardust. Yeah, you haven't summoned him yet. Oh, I had him summoned. I talked about him at breakfast. Wow. I, get, I gave yeah. him bacon and stuff. Okay. And I'm going to have to change the... I have a... When he does get his wings, I have a few miniatures I can use for him. Since he is now white on the character art. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I figured you'd just glue some wings to the one he had already. He's bigger. I have plenty of miniatures I can use. I have, mm -hmm. I had a I had a green dragon warmling I was going to use, but but now your character art is white. So, all right. Uh, anybody else want to have any discussions or conversations on this trick? Well, so how are the other two kinders, Vera and Mila, getting across currently? There, uh, she summoned a uh, giant elk. So like, oh, that's right. Uh, I think it's fine steed. Mm -hmm. Yep, she summoned Fine Steed that uh, uh, comes to her and uh, lasts for twenty-four hours. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What so, about Mila? Mila's just right on the back with her. Um. So I'm holding up my charm, being like, "So did we need this or not? I don't remember." Yeah. Basically, your charm is basically Fine Steed yourself, but it's specific to war horses, and you can do it twice, and then it's done. Oh, okay. No, it's not like I have a physical. Don't waste charm. it then. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I just have the. I can, for some reason, naturally summon a horse twice in my life. Yeah, it was for a, some reason. It was a blessing because All you right. had this shield of the Salmia Order, and they bowed to you, and then they're that tomb. I remember that. Yes. Um. Yeah. That was an informational dungeon. Mostly. Until the big right. fight at the end, the bell <laughs> room ham on everybody. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We remember that. That was a great. Yeah, I don't remember also. that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Literally and figuratively. All right. Uh, um. Yeah. Mela, Vera are riding on the the elk. Uh, Dashin is probably swimming. Carrie's riding on the back of Ziggy. Bellorum, how, what are you doing? Because it is water. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm treading water and moving. I mean, we haven't. I think it's five feet of water. Half. Yeah, it's five feet of water, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like bobbing to keep my head above water, so I can keep breathing. So at least you'll be. It's not getting wet. Wow. What was that? You say at least your beard is not getting wet. <laughs> Oof. Mm. That's number three. <laughs> now you die. <laughs> That's Latin, darling. No, I really hate them. <laughs> I was just going to say, so Bellroom's getting over his fear of water now. Well, it's not deep water, and we can see land. Yeah. All right. Right. Um, I mean, we're we're we see the island or whatever we were on, and uh, the other one. Yeah. Essentially, you're traveling from one patch of land through water to another yeah. patch. Essentially, what you're doing. All right. Uh, so it's midday. Do y'all want to stop and? Have like stop for food, or you want to just keep powering through, eating rations? What do you want to do? Keep going. He... You don't know if the water is going to grow any higher. Fish boy, do you, do you know? Somebody roll me a D four. Three. 
Uh, the water goes down another three feet, so you now have about two feet of water. Ooh. As the day I stay on Ziggy's shoulders. On. <laughs> I need somebody to... Uh, if you're eating a ration, make sure you mark it off. Um, or if you're eating some of that... Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot. How much food do I give y'all for, for meat from the manticores? I forgot how much. 34 pounds, and we used one pound. All right. Um... Uh, with Z Ziggy's survival check earlier, I will say that, uh, the meat that you did get from it, you do know that you're going to have to somehow dry it or preserve it, or it will go rotten and bad. So you might want to start thinking about what you're going to do about that, or if you're just going to cook it all at once. Does, does, does meat go bad in a bag of holding? Did y'all put it in a bag of holding? We yeah, put, put it one, in the bag we, of holding, yeah, but put, it, we, it doesn't have air. It, it doesn't yeah. have air, but it's still got the temperature. Yeah. It's not like a bag of cooling. It's a... Yeah, it's not like a... a refrigerated bag of holding. Oh my God. You need a freezer bag of holding, not a refrigerator. refrigerator Are you insulting Ragaroo? <laughs> He's just not equipped for this particular set of skills. That's all right. So I will say it'll slow the... Uh, spoiling of it, but it still will spoil. Okay. So, just keep that in mind. All right. Well, um, yeah. Next time, I should find some salt and do like a cured. A, yeah. A cured maybe meat. you want to take some time tonight and do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this salty water, or is it fresh water? Uh, I think I uh, established it was salty water. How do you make salt from salt water? <laughs> you wait a while. <laughs> Uh, someone give me another d20. Oh my. I'm gonna roll the weather die again. See what happens. Two. Two. Nice. Uh, the second part of the day, uh, as the sun starts breaking through the clouds and it becomes nice, a fair day, uh, as you can start seeing the sky open up a little bit more, the overcast is kind of gone. Someone give me, uh, and your, give me a perception check. Whoever's leading us, I, I should, I guess, should establish a marching order. Um, uh, I mean, that's that's a natural I like one. To, I am just out of it. Yeah, you probably like fell asleep range. and drooling on uh, Ziggy's head. Uh, yeah. Yep. Um, I'll do a perception check. Why not? Oh, not much better. Nine. Nine. And that's uh, with a plus six. Anyway, uh, as the sun starts breaking through, the light starts beaming on you, kind of blinding you a little bit as you're looking. Up, still constantly looking for these dragons that you think there might be out there or something. One day, maybe you see one one day or something. You only read tales about them, but the re so far, nothing seems to be coming out and attacking you. So you can continue on. How you doing, Zen? Welcome in. Hope you have a wonderful night. So, uh, so the second part of the day, you're pushing through. What would you like to do? I mean, well, talk about it. Are you going to have a talk? Or... I want to make sure give you all... Because we have... The yeah. last couple of episodes, we had a lot of battles and stuff. So I want to make sure the party still has a nice, even balance. So you can talk amongst yourselves and grow the party. Or piss Bell or off even more. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that can happen? TPK by party? No, we tried that once, remember? I don't, but allegedly, allegedly. we did. <laughs> Dashin, you want to have a conversation with anybody? I'll go down the alley combat initiative. Make sure everybody gets a chance that. Okay. Uh, if Carrie and uh, Ziggy are up at the front, um, kind of Jenga on top of each other, uh, I am going to approach Carrie's the elk. Carrie's asleep, too. Right. So I'm going to approach on. the elk with Mila and Vera on it. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to ask what I'm going to ask in character. But, uh... Vera, this is the first time I believe that I've seen Seems you good. magic. I didn't take you for a spell wielder. 
Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Zen, for the subscription. Who would you like to give advantage to with your subscription? Thank you, Zen. Thank you, my friend. Sorry to interrupt. Keep going. You can re-say it again. Okay. Uh, just I just want to acknowledge this up. <laughs> I, I think you need to get your eyes checked. Um, I believe when you were stealing, I casted uh, a spell on you. Ah, uh, yes. Well, my fault then. Uh, my, my fault. I just didn't think that your prowess like i know a few healing spells you know but it's not really advanced magic but summoning a full living being now that's something more praiseworthy what do you want from me no 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 i want nothing i want nothing but my strumming i have no idea where it is i'm just trying to get a good assessment of all my companions abilities before we encounter more gargantuan or mythic mystical creatures out here in these wilds. Mela, you get the advantage. Usually. Usually when people compliment me, they want something. I assume that was supposed to be a compliment. Yes, and I will uh, do you even one better then. With that being said, that flute that you have been playing with of mine, I would like that flute to be yours now. You may keep it and practice with it whenever you wish. I would be happy to instruct you in the musical arts. And considering having me as your mentor, it would be like training at the hands of a genius. A humble genius. Very well said. Then I suppose you probably want your playing cards back. I'm gonna check my pockets to not realize they were gone, I guess. Uh, yes, that would be they wonderful. They were also in my inventory. <laughs> I will hand them down to him. Trading Thank you for the flute. Thank you, Havoc okay. RPG, for the idea to just start swapping stuff around and the Kinder stuff. Give a I assumed out. they were Dashians as well. I, I thought I had a dice set. I don't remember playing cards, but I could have at the last minute changed it to playing cards. So it's very possible. Or they could be someone else's. I'm just assuming Dashen they're will yours. gladly take them. Thank you. All right. Gift for gift. Uh, my particular prowess and gifts um, were handed to me by uh, Freya. And mm, they're a combination of, I suppose, divine and magical. I can't do it as well as Mela can, but I do more protective magics. Well, understandably so. I mean, you don that powerful looking armor i'm sure that protective spells help keep that even more impervious to incoming damage the shield helps i don't think we know the extension of your gifts either by the way other than Illusory and water. Other than what was the first one you said? Illusory. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, yes, well, you know, as they say, a performer shouldn't reveal all his tricks until the right time, sort of thing. But um yes, this uh this this trident I have, uh, it does allow me once per day to manipulate water in a sense um, as you can see it's nothing too extreme but I can I can raise and lower water like a, a tidal wave at 20 feet maximum they have never gotten it higher 
Never That's higher very than twenty. Specific. And uh, I can make a whirlpool start at the bottom. I can, you know, use a redirect flow, and it it kind of pushes it any given direction. But uh, it's only really controllable at the beginning. Like you see, all these things are. Uh, a wave, a spout, uh, even parting. It's its kind of just the initial. I can't, like, make the water change directions multiple times. It's kind of just, you know, the same way you might throw dirt if you could move that much dirt so quickly. So you can throw dirt. That's what I got out of that. But it's water. But it's water. Thank you. Um, I will expect you in the back during our fights, then. Well, yes. Why? Where else would I be able to get a good view to retell the stories of our victories, if not in the back? Bellum certainly can't remember what he did the other day. He's not going to remember a fight that we do. Up in the front? I would be careful with how much you poke at him. Why does he seem so angry all the time? And Mila, if you know, feel free to chime in. Or is he only angry with me? I kind of uh, feel no, like he's, it he's takes angry a lot with to... everybody. Oh, am I even there? Yeah, you're up in the front, so... Okay, he you, was back. Okay, you, sorry. Yeah, you're focusing out looking, and Carrie's just drooling all over your face. I feel like it takes time for Bellarm to warm up to new people. He's lost a lot. Um, but once you get to know him, and once he starts trusting you, um, he's invaluable, you know, as a friend. I kind of want to establish where is Bill or Matt during this conversation? No, oh, in, in the back. I could hear it. Okay. Uh, unless you're are, trying to be quiet. Are y'all trying to be quiet about it or are you just talking? Uh, you know, I, I might have lowered the inflection when we started to talk about that. Right, roll me a stealth. The first part of it. Not no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try to listen in on their conversation. Well, I, was, I want him to roll a stealth check to see if he beats your passive perception. Okay. Twenty-two. He beat. Okay. So, but yeah. to be clear, I just went from talking about the, the extent of your magic and what's that Belrum's problem anyway? Kind of that level. It wasn't anything like no. hyper secret. Just courteous, quiet. <clears throat> well, I suppose I have witnessed that short bearded dwarf take out a whale and a shark and and a dragon all in the same short span of time so I I suppose that his prowess is useful yeah it's surprising you keep egging him on when you saw him do that see the thing about brawn is it's always outsmarted by brain so my tinkerings with the small brain that Belrum has I'm going to remind you of that when your brains are all over the floor Well, if it comes to that point, I certainly shan't need reminding. It feels like. I'll still do it for the laughs. Besides, I don't think that Mila would let things like that happen. Well, I'll try not to. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of things that I can't control, unfortunately. Including you insulting his short beard every single minute of every day. <laughs> Is he touchy about that? You know, I've just been saying it because I figured most beards were long dwarf beards. I mean, real dwarf beards, but his seems a little short. I'm not trying to just keep repeating an old joke, but is that something that really eggs him on like I, I know it's made him mad but no more mad than calling him short or anything else but is this a a more sensitive 
subject with him? Hey, Balram, he's calling your beard short over here. Or... Actually, I'm sorry. Two... Uh, then I'll, I'll yell out to Bell. I mean, it's not like that. I was just seeing why the beard is so short. I'm not trying to make fun of you. It is just for knowledge's sake. One. Okay, okay. Then I suppose I'm done talking. You're muted, Jigen. Ah, Ziggy, you want to wake up Carrie f uh, from drooling all over her face? I mean, I can. I mean, I, is it there a reason I'm, to bother her? I'm visualizing that, and I can just see, like, half of Ziggy's head and hair just all matted and wet. Pretty much. I mean, she's tiny. How much drool can she make? You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, but she was also like in the water before you picked her up, so like her clothes is wet. Yeah, it's basically me giving you two a chance to talk because the other ones have been talking. So, do you want to wake her up and have a chat and say, "Hey, quit drawing on my head"? I don't know. It's up to you. If not, we can press on. Uh, I'm gonna continue humming, you know, uh, ancient lullabies and trudging along. All right. Well, the second half of the day goes without issue as it starts heading into the evening. What do you want to do? You want to press on? You want to pack it in for tonight? Actually, as you start heading into the evening, you come to a nice set of cliffs as you can climb up almost kind of like a ridge top. And you kind of see two big balls of light on the other side as you're climbing up to the thing. What do you want to do? Uh, what do you mean two big balls of light? Like as you're looking over like this, as you're climbing the side of a uh, cliff side of these rocks and stuff, you can see like, you know, like if you're looking out into like your, oh, how to explain it? Like the glow. Sources, sources of light. Yeah, like a glow two sources of light that's kind of glowing over the ridge shots for you peek and look over so which i'm trying to trying to convene to you guys um all right i'll immediately turn to the party and do like silent like sh 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 you know like those kind of that silent signals uh they do in me, the, me, me, you know, me, me, me. movies and stuff like that and uh you know tell everyone to quiet up and then we're gonna i i don't know um approach wait, with caution and, and see yeah Okay, because uh, she would snore at uh, a very inopportune oh, yeah, time. Gonna wake, I'm going to wake Carrie up and go, hey, uh, uh, this is an opportunity to be stealthy. I think we need to figure mm. out getting figuring out what's making that artificial light off in the distance, and I think we need to do it with the uh, utmost uh, discretion. Right. Sweet. I'll go sneak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a stealth check. Cool. Advantage cause my thingamajig at uh, 27. Wow, even just being just woken up, super it would have been 30, but I'm I'm sleepy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, super oh, yeah, you do wake up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm doing this in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, you did. You say you woke her up, so yep. uh, you climbing up there and uh, you roll what was it? Check. Uh, stealth check 27. 27? Well, that is, you can, uh, as you climb to the top, top of the cliff top, whatever, and you can see I've already attached the map to y'all's thing. This is essentially what you see. Let me. Do I see any humanoids and or creatures? Give me a second. A head smells of rotting fish and burning flesh hanging thick in the air. 
The fortified camp sits on top of cliffs, jolting from the center of, the, of a muddy lake. The camp is rigid, immersed, bone spurs, makeshift, uh, which it says wooden walls in the description, but the map contradicts it. It looks like stone walls to me, so I'm going to say it's stone walls. Uh, the stone palisade surroundings the camp comprise of tents, huts, and cro crooked watchtower. Or, uh, what does it say? Crooked watchtower. Dozens of dragon army soldiers keep watch around the camp. So as you look, um, for everybody on stream, I got the map rotated because it's one of those long art. So I want to be able to make sure we zoom in. So it's kind of cancer, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, the tower inside is massive. The middle center tower is a massive tower. Um, and you see two bonfires. And you also see uh, another section over there with like four four cages from this distance. But you're pretty far out. You're, just, you're kind of like on a cliff top and it's like under, down in like a pool where, like where water settles. So it's, it's kind of like mud trash right now. And then there's a uh, 15 foot wide bridge that's kind of leading up to the one way in and one way out of this place. Um, if you, what is your perception check? Did you roll one? Oops. No, I will do that now. Perception. Mm. Perception. Ooh, nine. But my passive is 14. Uh, you don't have dark vision, do you? No, no, I don't think well, so. Kinda, it kind of makes sense. So, with a little bit of light coming from inside, all you can see, there's a few figures around the gate. And uh, every now and then you see uh, approximately about... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, you see three figures. One's larger than the other. Shadow figures that kind of patrol that gate on the inside. Um, the watchtower you can't really see anything but you can probably obviously assume there's at least one or two people in the watchtower because that watchtower is massive um, would I be able to tell like how many feet it is like how tall not with a nine mm -hmm. okay um, it's like far enough we can't talk to her right she's like awesome. she moved yeah, up moved you sent her up to look and y'all still below so, so. yeah but and, like yelling up to her would be a bad idea at this point i mean yeah, so it's evening it's, right yeah it's getting evening heading into darkness but yeah uh, you definitely like i said you see some uh you can see some shadowy figures at the gate how you doing, Rusty? Welcome in. Thank you for the lurk, buddy. Would I be able to tell from this distance and with my nine if um, majority of them are humanoid or majority of them are dragon soldiers? Not with a nine. <clears throat> okay, I'll shimmy back and relay what I've found. Yeah. But I couldn't uh, see it so... very well. It, it bit dark. Oh. You, did you see any, like, um, uh, dragons? Not. Like, those would be not big, Not that I right? noticed. There were cages. Not sure if they were big enough to hold a dragon. Did you see whether the they fields? were armed? Oh. Uh, so, no, I assume they're in the cages. But, you know, I, it was very far away and very dark, so I'm not sure. But you what saw that, something Ziggy? that was obviously, well, you saw something that was obviously cages? Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they were cages. They were, like, cage-shaped and off to the side a bit, as cages do. All right. I was just going to ask if you... Did you see if the figures were armed, mean-looking? Well, we around? can assume that they're guards, and so they will be armed. Hmm. Didn't see them very well, like I said, but one was very big. But I assume it was, like, upright 
humanoid looking rather than dragony looking. It's like a large size creature. Yep. But mm. like up two legs. Two legs, yes. Yes. Yeah, tall dude. Very big tall dude. All right. Well, do we, uh, I mean, we can't all stealth up there because Bellroom doesn't stealth. It's also in the cover of darkness. Yeah. If we go now. And Bellroom can see in the dark. It's very nice. useful. But uh, at this point, you're still like a good 500 yards out or feet. Sorry, 500 feet. And um, just, uh, like at an angle, you can cl like climb up and look out probably feel relatively safe at doing that so yeah now I'll, I'll help you i'll give you rogue pointers and you can do it better i mean i would give everybody advantage if y'all doing that unless you're just kind of running out there then it'll be a little bit different <laughs> let's go look at the camp <laughs> So if yeah, because I couldn't see it very well. So if somebody with, you know, good lookies wants to do a good looky, that'd be good. A good looky. Uh, yeah, I'm willing to sneak up and give it my old, you know, wilderness eye. Uh, you can't uh, see in the dark, though. I, I would imagine, though, that, like, as a ranger, like, while I'm not see, able to see in the dark, I'm still used to dark time operations. And I, I mean, would imagine... The, the bonfires that are going on gives a little bit of a backlight. Yeah. But it's still... Even in this pure darkness, or there's a little. Actually, let me roll. For, see how cloudy it is. Like, oh no! Uh, camping, if you let your eyes as adjust, the evening, you can, you can I will say, around. as the evening is getting coming, as you starting to come evening, you can look up. The clouds is now reformed, and I still have the freaking fire going. Why do I do that? <laughs> but um. But yeah, uh, the overcast is any kind of light to be coming from the sky is kind of muted because of the overcast of the clouds is formed. But you do what little light you do see is from those two massive bonfires or fire pits. Uh, I would say, Carrie, even with your nine, you get you see a bunch of tents, and there seems to be one bigger tent than the rest, but that's about it. I'll also, I forgot I had a re-roll. Can I re-roll, or is it too late? You already went down it and relayed. Yeah, I figured. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going. Sorry, Destin. Oh, no, you're good. Almost. If the party's all moving up to this vantage point, Dashton will also, and Dashton, much like Belram, has dark vision as well. Mm -hmm. So. Can I take a take a gander at what I can see in there? So is everybody pretty much army calling to the top of this and looking? I'd like to, yeah. All right, uh, everybody, roll me. Uh, everybody's doing this. Roll me stealth checks with advantage. I generally have disadvantage due to my armor, so that'll be a straight roll. That'll be fine. Um, I'm going to leave Hydrin at the bottom at the moment because uh, he's huge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 15. 22. It's kind of a group Natural cell 20. check, but Never yeah. Uh, Carrie? 23. Wow. Uh, Melia, 24. Belrum? Yeah. 19. 19. All right. Uh, so. Y'all are stealthy. Uh, uh, who got the lowest? I think Ziggy did, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, as you're coming up, Ziggy, a reflection off your goggles, it seems to look like an individual on the thing kind of looked that way and then kind of looked and then was like, and kind of continued on what they're doing. It's kind of like something caught his eye and then he's like, yeah, it must've been eyes playing tricks on type deal. But other than that, everybody else, the group cell check was Relatively great, so you're able to crawl up. And uh, who wants to lead this looking out? Um, I'll try to, uh, yeah, I'll try to get a sense of the camp. I'm gonna, you know, count 
count figures, get the lay of the land, see what's there. Uh, uh, so it would be with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Because it right. is dying. You don't have dark vision. I guess. Um, and you're 500 feet away on a cliffside looking down. Yeah. That's fine. Let's see. With this show you said you're, you're going to lose high ground. Come on. I have an 11, although I got a nat 20 in there that I can't use. Yeah. 11, you don't see much more than carry, and Dashin said he was going to roll. So I'll let you roll, Dashin. And 14. let me know what you. Huh? 14. Did you roll? What did you, did you roll a straight roll, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just to make sure you roll this. 14, you can see a little bit more. Um, was you with them when you fought the dragon armies? You wasn't with them, were you? No. No. All right. Um, all right, at the anywhere Pacific, you're trying to focus. I'll, I'll give you an option. The cages. Hey, you want to focus at the cages? All righty. I hope that was an option. I kind of jumped the gun there. Yeah, I was going to give you, with your 14, I, I was going to give you either a general overlay, or if you're focusing on something, i give you a little bit more detail of somewhere you're focusing at. All right. Uh, I'm not going to give you that description, but um, you see um, probably about three figures. If you look closer, they got drag dragon-like features with uh, the green wings. Red cloaks. Um, you actually, if you're looking and focusing really hard, you see, um, uh, let's appear to be some type of glob goblinoid, like in half plate, um, armor, finishing a drink and throwing it towards a fire. And then he walks towards the big tent and he walks in it. You do see four cages. Two cages seem to have like, um, looks like the body types, even from this distance, you can't really make out a lot of details, but the more slender of an elf, like they have a few, um, um, through those in those cages one holds a um, very large animal um, can't really tell much more than that and then uh, and in the other cage a very small shadow type figure is in there and those are in the cages. So, like two of the cages, you can probably gather that it's, they're 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 like kind of tall and slender. Could be the CLs that y'all looking for. Another one has a massive, like large creature in it, and then another one has all by themselves is a very small humanoid in it. Um, I relay the information to the party. Um, I guess I can in character that. Um... So, does anyone see that fire on the right up ahead? There's a big tent over there that I'm seeing some little guys go in and out. And then behind that, there's there's a few cages, just like Harry said. Um, one's got a big animal, of some kind of beast in it. And um, the rest yeah, kind of look like they might be uh, my kinsmen down there. They don't have wings, although I do see some some winged sentries kind of walking through the camp. Mm. So there's only so one there way in? Uh, yeah, it's some sort of beast. It's definitely one thing, and it's very, very big. And only one way in, yeah. Wish we had some of those flying backpacks that we had in uh, Vogla. Do we, still have, do we still have some of the Dragon Army's uh, armor in the bag of holding? Mm. I 
think we. I might. know you have some custom made. Mm -hmm. For Kinder size. Yep. Yeah, we we stole them, so we had to size them down. So I think the Kinder have custom sized dragon armor, but I think that's all y'all had. Unless you took them off anybody else, but I don't remember if you did or not. Um, I did not write specifics, but we have five dragon army armors. Well, I, Didn't I know write specifics though, like sizes. If I remember correctly, uh, two of those were had to be modified to make three, so that leaves three other sets. All right. Two yeah, sets. remember you? Yeah. We had a, a set combined or made out of two, f just for three kenders. Yeah, and then you have the other three sets. I think the other set for Bellarm, y'all didn't have custom for a dwarf, so if he puts it on, it'd be a little yeah. bit bigger on him, but he yeah, might we didn't have money back then. Yeah. And some of us could be uh, prisoners we're bringing in. Who's good at lying? Dashin? <laughs> Sorry, answer my own question. Is that a question or a request? I don't much like playing, but you know, the thought of being kind of a damsel in distress motive might be encouraging, I, I think. I'm game for such a thing. You also, I think you also have access to uh, uh, Disguise Self spell. Yeah, uh, well, I have Minor Illusion and I have a Disguise Kit. Oh, nice. I thought you had Disguise Self. Okay. I do not have Disguise Self. Well, we got to do the self. pretend we're bringing another sea elf to the prison, right? You could do that. I mean, like it's up to you guys. The, I mean, the, I'll the shut best up way now. to do that, the best way really he should be, you know, not just looking like he's healthy, but probably, you know, have fought <laughs> us off. Yeah, we got to punch him in the face damaged. a few times. Yeah. Then, then, uh, slow down here. You know, I, I do happen to be a whiz with, no, with no, makeup and things like that. <laughs> they might see through any disguise you have. Best to be as realistic for the performance, of course. Well, hold on. Before we start all this, let's let's iron out this whole plan. You can't just go in with the start of a plan. We have to go through the whole thing. So, insert our hero, Dashin Yenvery, pretending to be a captive, going into this cap. Who is pretending. escorting me? I don't know. Pretending seems such a harsh word. It's got to be realistic. Before we dive into it, y'all want to... We're close to our break. You want to take a break, and then y'all can kind of discuss in between break, and then role play it out even more instead of doing it on the cuff. Is that okay with y'all? I agree. All right, hey guys, we'll, we'll take, take a break. break. We'll take a tenor, and uh, we'll be back. And as they dive into what ridiculous this plan they're gonna come up with, so we'll be back, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Welcome back. We as we come back in, the party is making a plan. Checking it twice. See who's going to fail and who's going to succeed. Take it away. Leroy, no. You're you're All uh, right. <laughs> you're muted, Dashin. Oh, sorry. Oh. So I think uh kind of the consensus idea is that I will pose however unbelievable it may seem, as a captured sea elf, along with my dear friend, Belgram. You want to make it unbelievable, he can make it more believable. Caught without a scratch. Some say Belgram might have taken some hits, but not me. <laughs> um, we're going to sneak in uh, with Ziggy, Mila, and Vera all posing as dragon army guards from a different battalion that have been separated through this horrible flooding of the valleys that we've been traversing for these past few days. Meanwhile, the invisible Carrie will investigate the big tent. Careful not to give herself away as she is away from the rest of the group. Not quickly accessible for help. Uh, looking for anything of value and information on what's going on inside that big tent. And before well we do... Keys. Yes. And does anybody have a plan B in case this goes awry? Murder everything. Uh, 
may I may I bring up an alternative plan? Sure. Because there are many holes in <laughs> whatever that was that we just heard. First of all, somehow no offense, Ziggy, but you and two Kenders in a suit of armor will have captured the two of us. Now, I understand capturing Deshaun here. That I get. That was an easy one. But then you're going to also have captured me and take my weapon away. Me, the one who can kill the enemy. So you're going to put me unarmed. And somehow, while I know Carrie can do her and Vera and Mela, Mela can. Somehow we're going to just sit in cages, both of us, and hope you don't get caught, because if you get caught, I can't help you. Well, and Bellroom. somehow you're going to think they're going to fall for the, oh yeah, a dwarf and an elf are working together. Just to make sure. We I mean, don't have to have known each other, but... you know. We could just no, be two you guys separate yeah, escapees. Separate. And like, and I'm you know, sure we had help getting you guys, but our battalion, the rest of our battalion, got lost. Um, right, you're all tied up. And stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm, I will go along with that if that's what you want. I, I have, I well, will let the party majority. How, yeah, they don't know them. how awesome you are. They're not going to immediately know that it was impossible. They're just going to see that uh, we captured a short guy. They will totally buy that. What's your uh, you idea, though? You don't have to do any uh, acting or anything like that. Yeah. Ziggy, how many times have you tried to um, to to fight these these um, these types of soldiers and won and killed any? I, I, I lost uh, count. How many was that? I mean, I have definitely uh, given some nice backup to the rest of the party. And how many kills? I, I can't remember. I mean, I don't know how specifically uh, how More many kills, one? but I definitely got some weakenings. Would you I get the like... feeling Bellroom doesn't like us, Ziggy. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, killing them doesn't have anything to do with this whole sneaking past them. Right now, we need, like, sort of a, a more uh, uh, sophisticated, uh, suave kind of approach to this while you kind of be quiet and just pretend to not be, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 a crazy fighter guy. And uh, we'll have your weapons. Like we're we're not going to give them over or anything. So we'll be able to do like a, you know, if it comes down to it, we'll bust you out, we'll throw you your axes, and you can go uh, crazy on everybody around you. Mm. You just well, have Nancy, to chill till then. That that's can we fine. Get him a bag of holding with his weapons in them, so he can hide his weapons on him. Well, I don't want I, them to I, search. And I don't take think the they will. They're going. They're not going to let prisoners. I mean, come on. I can if have the bag of holding on me, and if things go sideways, I can. They're not going to let us go in there with a bag. You. That's good. Question: Does invisibility work on items or objects? Items uh, and objects that are being worn. Yeah, they're being worn now. Visibility now. You go pick up something, you'd be floating. Right. Right. No. 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 I just mean, can I make Belrum's axe? invisible no if it's with me when you make me invisible yeah because you can well, open its concentration about, you can only cast this? it once what let's let's try it this way what are we here to do can can we answer that question free the elves rescue prisoners. free the elves yeah of which we see there's some in a cage there how many soldiers are there do we know Two dozen ish. Yeah, not at this time. Do we have an exact dragon one? and? Oh wait, he isn't. Did you relay? You did dragon and a goblin ish. No, no. Want to make sure we're all hearing this, and we're going to, as, again, two of us are going to be locked or tortured or being questioned. We do not know. What? So is your I just think it more tactical than us. And... Yeah, because yeah. what if 50 of them come out? There's no shot we take on 50 of them, no matter how strong you are, how fast Kerry is, or how agile that Ziggy is. We're not going to overrun 50 of them. 
What's well, your alternative, I know, I know you can't. <laughs> this is one of those to a dwarf with an axe, everything's a nail kind of situations. There are <laughs> other ways to approach uh, to approach uh, this, the, uh, getting in there and getting these guys escaped without necessarily fighting an entire army. You're right. You're right. Now, if it goes perfect and Carrie acquires the keys as well as the intel, if Carrie comes back and says, hey, I think we can take them. There's only five or six. Fantastic. And if there if there's way too many of them, then Carrie can get the key, come back and let us out. I can drop my invisibility on her, cast it on myself, exit the camp, drop the invisibility there and draw the armies away letting all of you escape out the other side there's only Thoughts? one door now oh, there is this right hmm yeah we're like if we uh if we do get a key to the cages where then are we going with the prisoners What I can do, while I'm invisible wandering around, I can find their food, yeah? And I've got a poisoner's kit. I can poison their food. I'm fine. fun. Can we make people, like, float or fly or anything like that? Anyone can make, like, a bunch of elves invisible? Maybe one or two, but no more than one at a time, and that's putting a lot of risk into these elves whom we don't even know if they're elves, to be frank. We could get uh, over there and it'd just be a bunch of humans. Maybe we go back to just letting Belrum run in there like a maniac and we rain uh, ranged uh, fire down on everyone else. I think we're a little bit out of range for that on the 500 foot well, we get yeah. a little closer. If that We'd was the case, closer. I would have just sent Hydrin in because I can speak with him telepathically and he would have told me. But they're going to spot him immediately and kill him. So. Yeah. Oh, I can theoretically, um, I can theoretically longbow someone. If the wash is up. Would super the long base be in the middle of water? Would we be able to water walk in? Yeah, right now the wash is not up. as more like the wash is just kind of finally subsided throughout the day. So it's now like uh, more of a mud swampy around it. But the wash above the table, the wash when it comes in, will be there'll be water around it. Hence the bridge. Mm. Now so this perimeter. Water walk in. Well, wait for it to flood again, and then just run in. Yeah, but when it's well, not flooded, we, we could run out. As much can't as we, we can. Can't we hop the sandbags or the this perimeter around the edge? How like? Yeah, how tall is it? How tight is it? Yeah. Would we be able to hop the hop the walls if the water were down all the way? Uh, either Carrie or, I mean, who, since Deshaun, uh, or Dashin, shit. Uh, give me another perception check if you want to look at the walls. Hmm. Was that me as well? I mean, you kind of brought it up, but then again, yeah. you don't have dark vision, so. So it'll be disadvantage? Uh, I mean, I'm saying if you want to help him, give him advantage, but. Oh, kinda... sure. Have advantage. Well. Well, I got a, a 20, not a nat 20, but a 20 on the first one. Would That's that fine. be enough, or should I roll again? That'll be fine. Uh, okay. As you're as you're having a discussion, looking back, even though you're so far away, you can probably guesstimate it's roughly about 15 feet high is the walls. It's a bit of a scrabble. The walls are 15 feet? That's yeah. huge. <laughs> and it's tall. Not huge. Does anybody and, and these walls magic? would stop the water when it floods from coming into the camp, correct? Well, it's more of an elevated level. So as you're looking, there's a natural cut away from where the water rises and it stops. So it's at the very top where usually where it floods at. Usually it doesn't flood higher than where you see on the map. Hmm. 
Um, do you guys have any magic you can transmute, like, I don't know, make a hole in the wall, basically? Quietly? Like, I was going to say, we can, just have, we can just have um, Belrum just go at it with a hammer, but that wouldn't be quiet. Right. Like, if we all count them around the back and did some sort of, like, create a magic hole in the wall, sneak spell. everyone out the I back. hear there's something you can, like, too. make things silent. Oh. Uh. Silent spell? Anyone? I saw Mayla's eyebrow go up. I think she sees it. She probably have to wait till a new dawn for it. Yeah, well, we I know it, but I don't want to go up it. anyway. We could do it tomorrow. Because that'd be the easiest way. Just get, like, go around the far side, cast silence, and then just freaking make a hole in the wall. And they can't hear it because it's silent. Sure. And just, How ah! Surprise How many can you cast a uh, water walk on? Because we're forgetting the prisoners wouldn't have the water walk on them, so she would have to recast. Well, now it. hold on. If these prisoners are indeed sea elves, they will not need to walk on any water. Good but point. what if they're not? Then I feel like that's not our problem. <laughs> you still got to rescue them. You can't just leave them. I mean, I we got to rescue everyone. Sure, you can. Just gonna pick Don't them. know no. these people. You've killed me, and you know me. If we walk a into a camp and there are people in cages and they're not the people that we're looking for, but they're in cages of the bad guys, we got to save them. Sometimes cast... people are in cages because they belong in cages. Not when they're the bad guys. Speaking from experience, it, caging them. What? Is he speaking from experience? Anywho, How, uh, I can... what, what's, what's the distance from the current waterline to the top of this rock? Uh, the water is pretty much already gone. Okay. Uh, let me see if it says anything specifically. So I'm assuming this is kind of like up on a very weird tower plateau. And at the top of that plateau is the camp. Exactly. But, uh, so, but with, there's like a 30 or 40 foot fall right now because there's no water. That no, it's more like be... it's more of an incline, not a, a straight drop. It's more okay. of an incline up. You see what I'm saying? So, so we'd flows. fall 15 feet and then roll. Pretty much, yeah. Because yep. I could, you know, make a little tidal wave come into this whole camp and just flood it out for a second. That's an idea. And if they are sea elves, then they, it's no problem. But if it's not sea elves, then it's a pretty big problem for whoever's oh, yeah, stuck no, in that's, a cage. Oh, yeah, no, that's not... Yeah. yeah, no. I mean, we're not able to see into the cages to know who's there, who's not. But we're assuming if the, they're bad guys, then who they've got trapped in the cages are good guys, in general. Yeah, that's I what mean, I'm saying. I guess, well, I, I mean, I guess it's possible they also have, like, a Hannibal Lecter in there with, with them. Like, there might be just a crazy bad guy. I don't know. I gotta be honest, getting weird vibes from the little one that they're keeping a separate, but that's another to story. Yeah. Did you say one of them had something big in it? Yes, yeah, uh, sort of a, a large beast of some sort. Yeah, we gotta check that out. Maybe, maybe yeah. I could climb up on top of the cage of the big creature and like let that one loose, keep everyone else in their cage so they're safe, but then that would leave Ziggy and Mela and Vera, not safe. If that only there was be. some way to communicate that, I don't know, an elf could communicate with another elf. Man, that would be great. That would make this so much easier, wouldn't it? I don't think he can send uh, it doesn't those work quite like that. Yeah, it's got to be somebody I know. I mean, I, I, I figured I'd let Ishvan know we was here, but... Well, don't you, don't you know the priest that we're supposed to be that you were supposed to be rescuing. I had no such quest before me. Yeah. No. Ishvan told me that what I'm seeking could be here. He's never told me to save anyone. He never told me to rescue anybody. He encouraged me to find a group that was also going here where I might find my strumming. Hmm. Find the group. Kill the elf that was there, disguise yourself, try to steal their stuff, and now then you're getting it. Wipe their minds. Okay. Uh, 
How about we go back with the plan of let's just go in there. We As have prisoners in disguise, a, or? we have a prisoner. Okay. We have armor. We have the plan. The only problem with that plan, though, is what do we do once we have the prisoners? How do we get out? Well, we Deshaun Watson it, here or... came up with the plan. Let's let's let him have it. Maybe just like ambush. Like, can we can we sneak in and then you know, uh, Carrie goes and poisons everybody. Maybe slits it through throats and then we. Kill who's wow. ever left and get the that's, prisoners out. That's a little dark that. right there. Wow. I mean, um, especially from you, you might accidentally hit one of us. <laughs> I'm just trying to separate them from their possible dragons in there. Why don't what you've got your little dragon thing? Well, yeah, but we're we're both big fans, and I, I think he'd, he'd be he'd be down for for uh, any sort of adventures we get up to. Can't you communicate with it, or see through its the eyes? Dragon or stardust? Stardust. Uh, if I cast a spell, I can communicate with him, and it recharges for the next day, right? So it's nighttime. Yeah. You send stardust in using whatever abilities you have we get the information and then it'll be the next morning you can do it again well here's the thing stardust is not stealthy or like they'd be like hey there's a small drake over there why is that let's capture it and bring it in i mean i'm i'm willing to talk about that that's a possibility but once Stardust is inside, what are we going to have? Can't it do? you see through Stardust's eyes? Yes. So That's you would point. then be able to see everything on the inside as it's being brought in. Walk through the gates. How many guards? How many are going to go out there to try to capture it? Do they launch their dragonelles at it? You get all this information. Well, here's the question. Why do you want to subject our beloved mascot, our team mascot, to a uh, potential death by um, a no, bunch of, like, no, dragon monsters? I didn't monsters? say we're going to send our bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> Righty Rue, indeed. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we could definitely send them in there, but, like, uh, like what if, uh, what if we, the information he comes back with is there's hundreds of soldiers and we're out of luck? Well, and then I guess we have to find the whole plan. original idea of Deshaun and myself being put in a cage would be a bad idea, wouldn't it, if there were a hundred? No. I mean, well, you I see, I have come up it... with the perfect plan that involves all of it. May I speak? Does it, it include them gagging you? I do want to mention well, that I'd rather have crime on Deshaun and Belram in jail than, my, my, than Stardust. But yeah, you can go ahead. What's your plan? Hear me on this. It's a kind of a bit of all of them put together, right? So I get taken in captive, as does Belrum. We both get taken in disarmed and captive. And he kind of smirks at Belrum because he knows he's not going to like that. However, once we are in and Carrie goes on her way to find keys, to find a way to unlock the cells and any information she can gather while under the guise of invisibility, the other two or three, posing as guards, are going to separate out. Yes, you may have to have a conversation, but so far that's the highest risk. You gather fire from these fire pits, and once Carrie has acquired the keys to opening the gates, you guys light all the tents on fire and run across the bridge and light it on fire, while Carrie, invisibly, unlocks the monster's cage, leaving this whole camp in a flaming whatever's beast locked in that cage rampage while the rest of us being carrie myself and belram all remain safely locked away in the steel cages that they have so graciously provided for us and then and we then can Bellroom come mop up the winners the door afterwards how do we know the beast in the cage isn't a dragon 
That Hard could right involve now. the need for a plan C. Yeah, uh, mm. Why are we lighting the bridge on fire? Isn't that the way we get out? Maybe yeah, it's, like it's like a down. kill. Whoa. We can kind of, we, we can, we can get down it eventually. Hmm. I mean, I really like like the setting the whole place on fire is my favorite part of the plan I've heard all day. Uh, and I definitely think that that could work as a distraction, but I'm wondering about it also uh, damaging us and preventing us from escaping. I do suppose that the fires could spread near the cage and unforeseen accidents could occur and I would not want to be locked in a cage when fires crashing around me. Vera, what would you like to do? Uh, I think our problem is we don't have enough information. We need to scout. And how would we do that? What is the best way without any of us putting ourselves at risk? Probably Stardust. Uh, Stardust is looking at everybody a little grumpily. Um, Jugen, how, how far away are they? How, how far away is this? Uh, you're about 500 camp? feet up on a cliff overlooking it. Excellent. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh oh. As Bellrum well, as... <laughs> uh, Bell says that and starts walking down. Um, it, so it's nighttime still. Guys. So what's up to? Just keep that in mind. All right. You just gonna start walking towards the gate, Bellroom? Bellroom, did you meet yourself? Oh, sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm walking down there. Uh, Adzi in hand. Um, rocky terrain downward. Give me a stealth check. He hasn't built the map yet. Um, yeah. Hold on one moment. I'm going to hesitantly start going after you, not trying to hide myself from you, Bellroom. Do you stop me? Otherwise, I will follow you into whatever hell you're that's, about to you can, walk you into. Can follow me. I'm not gonna, you, I'm not going to stop your sneaky sneak. All right. Okay. I sneaky uh, sneak next I, to you. I think and you Carrie, have a battle plan. Yeah, I saw it. So, Carrie, as you start to... As you start to follow Bellroom, he takes the ats, or you see the ats in hand, he brings it up to his shoulder. And as he brings it up to his shoulder, Bellroom vanishes. Hmm. I don't sneaky sneak next to him. I go back down and, like, oh, fuck, he's gone. What do you mean he's gone? I don't know, he just turned invisible. I didn't hear him do a spell he, or anything. He's just gone. Do he have invisibility? Is there some sort of field around this base? I don't know. Uh, how far did he I'm get? I'm going to say that oh, you're... Uh, I'm going to say all this oh, happened uh, at the... Before he starts getting in view of them being able to see him. So I'm going to say this was happening as he's walking up the thing to walk over. Really quick, I'm going to cast Eyes of the Night on the three party members who don't have dark vision. So Ziggy, Carrie, and Vera. Thank you. Awesome. I didn't know we had this. This is great. Uh, you can now see clear. 300 feet in front of you with dark vision. Sweet. And that's non-magical darkness, right? Can we redo our perception checks on the uh, camp? That's really bugging you. <laughs> you still 500 feet away. What I gave you. Well, how so close far? did Bellroom get before he disappeared? I said Bellroom was going like up the cliff. Just a few feet and... ahead of us. Yeah. Oh. So I didn't want to do that. And as he's walking towards, because the the tower in the in the middle of this camp is very high up, so they already have a high passive perception. So. Instead of uh, him walking over and get detected, I'm going to play it as he was walking up the walk over the cliff or walk over where y'all first initially to walk down. So 
that's where you went invisible, like going to the top of where y'all initially was looking at over this camp. I imagine y'all came back down the other side where you have or blocked from sight discussing this plan. All right, guys, where did Belrum go? I, think... I know he was there and now he's not. Yeah, we need to figure that out. I mean, can we, should we go forward with the plan? Should we see if anybody else disappears? Maybe I can sneaky sneak and see if I can, uh, I don't know how to find him if he's invisible. Yeah. Has he turned what? invisible before? Like, is that a Bellroom thing? I don't remember. Because I know there's, like, exploding fairies and weird, you know, plants that grow. Like, he, oh, that's right. He does between funny us, things. We yeah. know he's magic, right? <laughs> uh, is a vi turning invisible one of his th quirks? I don't think I've seen him turn invisible before. I've never seen him use magic. Really? His beard grows. Yeah, you've seen his beard grow, and I believe you've seen exploding pixies. Well, he wasn't there for half the battle, technically. Jugan mm. was playing okay. him, so he wouldn't have noticed. Um, oh, okay, okay. But his NPC character heard. should have noticed. <laughs> All right. Um, how about you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can see him. I yeah. am going to sneaky sneak up to where I saw Bellroom disappear. Uh, you sneaky sneak to where you yeah, saw I'm stealthing. Just... All right, yeah, you can easily. I don't know who you're trying to stealth from. From the watchtower. Oh. If you're, unless you break the top of the thing, uh, you don't need the I'm roll. going to where, wherever the bell room disappeared to, and I'm trying to find he, it. He disappeared halfway up. Mm hmm So you're halfway up, but you're not over the thing, so you don't really, really need to roll stealth for the tower. Yep. Are you going to Can like, I... You're trying to search Can I see him? him? No. Is Wait, there any you, sign of him? Tracks? Did you cast see invisibility? Nope. Okay. Uh, give me a survival check. Eleven. That's a bunch of chats because y'all went up this hill. All y'all went up this uh, little cliff hill thingy. You see a bunch We're of chats. up that hill. Okay, I'll go back to everyone else. I don't know. I don't know. Well, him. there's only He's there's only one way place he'd go to, so we just gotta. Be ready now. Un unmute, unmute. Um, I, I cast sending to Belrum and ask what he's doing. Belrum, you hear, what are you doing from Destin in your head? Well, I know I'm not, I can't talk out loud, so I don't know how to answer it because I can't talk out loud. So I don't say anything. Balram has no idea about this, right? He hears it, and he would think to communicate, he has to speak. He's not going to speak. Now, it does say, it hears the message in its mind, recognizes me as the sender, and if it knows you, can answer in a like manner immediately. But he so doesn't that know that. A thought. Like, why would Dashens? He might do it was... unconsciously, though. Yeah, that's like he's going to do it. Kind of, he's going to think accidentally. And send thoughts mm. back. I think Probably you're nothing good. giving him Probably. a lot of credit to his intelligence. Okay. <laughs> well, I he's mean, not going to be able have, to have hide never, his thoughts. Have I you mean, never engaged? Dashen is going to see some dark stuff. Can I army crawl back up? Big bust of a third level the spell. <laughs> I would like to army crawl back up to the top. Mm -hmm. to where we were looking down. And I'm going to cast the invisibility. Do you have it prepared? I do. I always have it prepared. Belrum, where are you at at this point? I don't know. How, how long has it been and how far have I walked? I mean, are you walking short, straight towards the bridge? Yep. Uh, probably, I think at this point, probably maybe 100 yards ahead of you, you see 
and just walking with his ass on his shoulder. Or Belrum, you want to describe it? How are you walking? Yeah, you you literally see Belrum walking just like he normally would be walking, with his axe on his shoulder, just normal speed ahead. Three hundred feet away. I'll slowly creep back down. He's just walking straight, straight to the bridge. Well, he's probably doing what Stardust wouldn't do. So, so do we, we can ex- wait. Does he know oh, would... he's invisible? Wait, like, if he's going to go, go in there and sit still, then that, 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 I'm fine, but we're going to have to turn this into a rescue mission all of a sudden. It was That's already a rescue report. mission. For you, maybe. I'm just now here we're... for my loot. Yeah, we're rescuing multiple people now. Nothing has really changed. We were going to put him in the cage. He might end up in the cage, or he might figure something out. So we need to just wait and trust in Belrum. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> what was that giggle? What was that giggle? I mean, I've trusted Belrum in all sorts of uh, combat uh, scenarios and stuff, but this is scouting. I'm a little nervous. Either way, we Keep need to wait out. or we'll mess it up. We'll mess up yeah. whatever he's doing. I'll crawl back up there and keep an eye out. And as oh. soon as there's any sign of trouble, we can go save him. I'll also go up. Could we try to on. stealthily get within like 100 feet of the of the camp? Probably not. 300 feet. Out. I would just like us to cut some of this 500 foot distance. If our movement speed is 30 and we have to react, that's a lot of water. Again, above table, the high uh, watchtower, the passive perception is very high because they have a view, a heavy the view vantage of point. vantage point. So unless they recognize you or something, uh, like, i.e., like you're in your. The, what was brought up, like the dragon armor. If there's some, if it's not one of those people, I don't want to give too much information actually. So just keep in mind, above player. So, like, I would say part of your general thought process is if it's something that they don't recognize, it might sound an alarm because you maybe not dash him, but the other players remember Fort, uh, for, well. What was it? Outpost? Yeah, that one fort. Yeah, mm-hmm. where they had alarms. So, and Bellroom is just steady walking this whole conversation, correct? Yeah, obviously he's... a little slower because we're real time, but yeah. he's he's nose down to the grind. Okay, um, Carrie, no just way. to be safe, can, can we make you invisible too? Can I, can I cast it on you? And you go keep an eye. And if he gets in trouble, come let us know. Is that is that something we can do? Is everybody comfortable with something like that? Don't waste the invisibility. I can just sneak up to the ridge. And as soon as anything goes down, I sneak my way back and it's time to go. Okay. Don't waste the invisibility because we might Trust need it later. Lot. And keep in mind, the only person who can see Bowen right now would be Mela. Mm. But I'm looking out for if, like, Shit a scuffle happens. Happening. Yeah. If we start to see him, then there might be problems. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, see, I'm like going to get a good stealth... vantage point and watch the show. <laughs> stealth back up to the ridge. All right. Anybody else want to have anything for our proceed to Belrum's task? Ooh, that was a two and a three on the dice. For what? Thirteen. For what? For sneaking back up to the ridge. So... For simplicity purposes, unless you're telling me you're going to go over the ridge down towards, I'm going to assume that you're just high like enough. Army crawl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to let you succeed. This is okay. like like a freebie. So unless you specifically tell me you're going to walk over the cliff, walk down towards it, that's what I'm going to ask for a stealth roll. Otherwise, okay. I'm, going to, you, I'm going to treat it like you're still on the other side, able to look up, and they don't have the vantage point to actually see you. Okay. All right. Uh, so anybody wants to have any conversations before I move on to Belra and what he's doing? 
any backup I'm too plans. Nervous. Okay. Balram. Sir. As you're approaching the main gate, are you staying? I want to confirm you staying on the bridge, right? Correct. All right. As you start approaching, give me a stealth check with advantage. Yeah, uh, you're fine because you're invisible and I roll terribly. So um, as you approach a large, hastily made palisade gate blocks the entrance to the camp. The area is guarded by three imposing figures with twisted, draconic uh, features. And, and you fought these before. Uh a lot of the little, the green skin, the red cloak, the uh, the foot soldiers. If you you fought a bunch of these, there's two of these guys, and another silvery, bigger one that you actually have fought before, and you were kicked off the top of the roof of that fort and killed. Oh, him. him! So you see another one of these guys. They're at the gate. They're the ones uh, control this gate. And they're just kind of looking out. Don't have any idea that you're there. Portcullis on the side. The portcullis is the gate, basically. Is there any other entrance, or is that the nope. only one? That is the only entrance. Any way to... Uh, how wide is it? Like 20 feet wide? Oh, uh... Oh, what's a large size? Like 10 feet? So, I think you said 15 feet was the bridge. No, 15 feet it, uh, Fifteen feet wide is the bridge. Uh, so uh, I I'll say it was so it's about a 10 feet wide gate. 10 feet. The bridge is about 15 wide and the walls are about 15 high. The gate itself is about 10 feet wide. So 10 feet high. Okay. No, wide. Width. Uh, it's still 15 right. high, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, how far does the wall go to the left and to the right? There's enough room to walk alongside. There be might be a couple of places where you have to step in mud, but you're able to trend in. So if you want to go like climb over a wall, sure, certainly try. Stone wall. Yeah, I'm saying this, in the in the module it says it's a wood wall, but the art says dictates a stone wall. So I'm going to say it's a stone wall. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at the wall, and with my innate dwarven ability, can I see, like, handholds that I'll be able to use to climb up? Uh, I mean, there is... The rots are... It's not like a perfect masonry job. It just kind of looks like rots are piled up. There's some stuff they pot in there that hold it together. Um, so, yeah, easily enough, you can find any... It's easy to climb over. That's not what okay. We are. Um, how, how long have I been gone? Uh, so I don't know. Probably roughly. I mean, it depends on how fast you were walking down there. How fast were you walking? Thirty-five. Like were you walking like a brisk pace, or are you just yeah. kind of going? Okay. Uh, I'll say probably like five, ten minutes or so. Okay. As you're like investing uh, the gate and looking at the walls. So I'm I'm going to go uh, along the wall. I am not going to step in mud. I'm going to make sure that I do not step in mud. So uh, you can, and, uh, yeah, you can go about let's see, let's see, about 25 feet for you to get the first patch. You might have to step in some mud to get on the other side, or try to jump. But if you make, if you try to jump, you might make some noise. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, am I downwind from them? Uh, if you go to the right, yes. So if you're looking, I'm going to go to the right. Uh, 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 on stream, I got it sideways, so I'm looking at it sideways. So on you, as you're looking up, you, so you kind of went north on the map, so it went north side. You got about 25 feet for you reach the end of where you have to start stepping in mud to keep going. So, uh, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to 
use my natural ability and climb up. Right, I'm not going to climb over the wall. I'm just going to climb up so that I can see or before my head goes over the edge, listen to make sure I don't hear anything and then take a quick look, just peek over and make sure there's no guards walking perimeter. If there is even a perimeter up there. Yeah, uh, patrol, um, as you climb up and look, uh, there's two groups of soldiers that patrol the camp. Um, you can see there, these ones are the humanoids, the humans. Uh, you can see roughly about f six total humanoids. One obviously has the more of the, the officer outfits that you've seen before that usually ride the dragon hills. You see them patrolling, uh, but most of it, since it is night, pretty much nighttime, most of the other troops are asleep. You don't really see much other activity other than the guards at the gate. Those two uh, groups that you see, and then uh, three that's in the watchtower up top. And the ones in the watchtower are also the humanoids. What's in the courtyard? There's not a courtyard. You're talking about like the tents? In, inside the walls. All over on 14? Or uh, one I-4? Which walls are you talking about? The ones by the cages? No. What do I see in inside of this this fort, this building? Are there tents? Are there other buildings? Yeah. Uh, you saw there, I mean, I know, we know we see two cages because we can see that from outside, but now that I'm looking in, what else do I see? Do I see barracks? Yeah, you see all these tents. You see is that you see all the tents. You see those mm -hmm. two uh, patrols I just described, and I said everybody else is probably gather you, is asleep in the tents. Otherwise, how many how many tents do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You can see all the tents on the map if you're looking at the map that's in the Discord. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Seven, 12, 13, seventeen. Yeah. One large one and sixteen medium yeah. sized ones. When I build and it, I'm not gonna have that many tents, but you know. Yep. And <laughs> dragon elves. How many? You do not see any dragon elves. Do I see any areas that could hold a dragon elf, or that are left open I mean, so that this if a is a pretty big in. area as it is. Uh, the tower is massive. You can gather. You can probably support something landing on top the area is big enough some like some they can land in here but far as like being hidden you, you definitely could see them there's nothing those no structures big enough to hide them so oh yeah not not to hide them but if there's like a sleeping area they probably have an area that yeah they're definitely not they there. kept clean and no tents there just for them no. so that would give me an idea of hey they expect three or nine yeah that's what i'm looking for yeah you don't see anything like that no Okay. Um, got that. Got that. Yeah, let's uh, let's head back. All right. So you gathered information on everything, but exactly what's in the cages because you didn't go that far. Correct. Okay. And you're gonna head back. Correct. All right. Give me another stealth check with advantage, climbing down and heading back. That's going to make it easy. I rolled the same number on both disadvantage rolls. Nat 20. Oh, yeah. You can easily make it back without any issue. Nothing's detected you. All right. And shortly beforehand, uh, release. When you get back, you release their invisibility. Before I get to the campsite, yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to wait till you get on the other side for you drop it so you're definitely not visible. That is correct. All right. Uh, everybody, as you're standing there looking, waiting for some fireworks or something to happen, Bellwin reappears behind you guys, but you don't see him. Yeah, I'm just going to sit down and start eating some, uh, some tack. Wouldn't I have seen him? Oh, yeah. I forgot, Mella. Mella, you... <laughs> Actually, oh yeah, Mela, you saw me. Yeah, actually, Mela, you was seeing him coming back. So yeah, you can't really get behind him sneakily because she sees you because she can see invisibility. How, how far? How far is your range on that, Mela? One hundred and twenty feet, I think. 
All right. So yeah, 120 feet away from you, all of a sudden, you see me. Just walking casually. So yeah, you can say, uh, Melly, you can say it to everybody else then. If you want to. Okay. Um, he's coming back. Wait, is he all right? He's fine. All right, then let's scoot backwards and start heading back down. All right, eventually Where is come... he? I still can't see him. Yeah. Eventually, uh, Bellroom reveals himself, I guess, on the other side, if y'all setting up a little camp or something for tonight for uh, have you start rolling constitution saves for exhaustion. Yeah. So, Bellroom, you come back, just kind of reappear and sit down and eat some tack right in front of everybody. Yep. All right. I woke so. up to you, Bellroom. <laughs> I put my hands on either side of your face. And I shake you. What the fuck was that? Well, nobody was doing anything, and we're just wasting time. So we were planning. I needed to go and do that. Planning. Yeah, until the sun came up, and then what if you got what? caught? What, what if you got hurt? You could have given us just in fifteen more minutes. You could if, have like, given us a warning of what you were doing. I, I did. I said I would be right back. And so that's not a warning of what invisible? you're doing. You saw me walking towards there. Ziggy's not going to send Stardust. Nobody is I mean, doing anything to, to find out. At least now we know there's three guards, including the one that we fought before at the last base. Do you remember that big guy that uh, kicked off the roof oh, and landed? I forgot one other thing, Bellroom, that you would have saw from your vantage point. Yeah. The, the big tent had two sentry station outside is also two more of those big silver ones got it yeah so here's what the here's what is waiting if we try to go in there and i relay the information now can i finish my meal and now you can plan whatever you want i kind of give him a smack on the side of the cheek not a hard one but just a Naughty, and let go. It's okay. Lorwyn has hit me harder. <laughs> so we just she did. He Remember, just she like now? smacked the crap out of me. So if you could have turned invisible the entire time, right? What was your? You wouldn't have had to been a guard or a prisoner. You could have just been invisible with us. Well, you didn't want to hear my plan. I we actually kept asked asking you. several times. We were and listening. You didn't say anything. So Everyone what was is the alternative. The elf and the dwarf will be prisoners, and that was it. I tried saying, "Let's send a guard out there. Let's send Stardust, who nothing would happen to him. Nothing permanent would happen, and we would get all the information." But no, we can't do that. Instead, we stay here arguing and discussing plans that would never work for any soldiers. Now we know what we're up against. How many times can you do that? Now we can properly plan what needs to happen and what we need to do. We know that if you try to take me down there as a prisoner, they will recognize me since I fought them before. And I beat them. They so fought all of us that's not before. a good idea. Yeah, they, they fought all of us then. If it's yes, those people. But I'm the one who beat the captain who was flying on top of the dragon now. That also means that they're a part of the unit that we were going to pretend to be. So that won't work at all. Exactly. That is correct. Uh, except that I never, they never saw me. And army, are you going to put on the you. uniform of that same army and then try to bluff your way through? I mean, I admit it's a, it's a long shot. By long, you mean zero chance of success. So can you do the invisibility thing again? What invisibility thing? The thing you oh just my. did. What did I do? I snuck down there, I climbed up a wall, 
made sure I didn't leave tracks, and I came back. I Ellen. didn't approach a single guard because you turned I know invisible. Better. Okay, here we go again. You are the sneaky sneak. I've tried. Lorwin and I tried to be as sneaky as you. And I know, we both know that I'm not that good. Exactly. Because right. you were invisible. That's why this worked. And if I were invisible, I would still make noise. They would still see me or hear me. That doesn't that doesn't even make sense. You know oh. I'm not invisible. I'm, look, I'm okay, looking so at my don't hands rely right on now. That. Never mind. I saw my hands the entire time I was walking there. I was walking with my hands. You were invisible. But I do have an idea. I think, you know how I said that thing about the silence and putting a hole in the wall? I think we should do that. But specifically, we put the hole in the cage wall. Like where the cages are. There's the wall on that side. We cast silence, make a hole in the wall, make sure that nobody sees us, and just like quietly unlock the door and then go before silence falls, and then we're gone. We don't have to go in. Yeah, but do you have lockpicks? Yes. Are you good with them? Yes. Is this a question? <laughs> Seems no worse of a plan than just having a dwarf pretend he didn't go invisible and walk up to it, so... Why were we making the hole in the wall? Well, that, we cast silence, and then we get, like, hammers or something, and whack, 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 whack! Do we have hammers? And these stones are... While these stones, I will tell you, since obviously no one here is knowledgeable in stonework, if you start pulling these apart and making a hole in there, there is a chance that that is going to collapse on you because there is no support on them. The mortar that they used is incredibly weak. I think in parts of them, I saw some bones and cloth between these stones. So I would not recommend making a hole in that for fear that that entire wall will collapse down on top of you. Well, you're a dwarf. Why don't you just dig a tunnel underneath the whole place? He says How very about sarcastically. We let the elf here get captured, be put in there with them. I'm sure he has some ability to speak and try to get some fake story going that they would believe. I mean, you are the master orator, are you not? Can you not speak to lower intelligence soldiers? Well, there are only some seem goblins to be able to talk there. with I'm you sure all just fine. fine, so I think we'll be all right. Well, there you go. Your ability, I'm sure, will do fantastic in carrying you through this. Can you cast silence I can now? <laughs> Unfortunately, no, I don't have it prepared. Then I can sneak in with you, invisible. And when you get put in the cage, I can, while invisible, unlock it. And then we're still stuck in there with a whole bunch of soldiers between us and the exit. We could climb out. But someone will probably see us. We're probably way overthinking this. It's probably super, super simple. <laughs> it was not super, super simple the last one we went into, though. Nah, it, it, I feel like it would have been simple if I didn't trip on me feet and fall on me ass. But mm. that one was on me. I, yeah. We know how I feel about that. <laughs> and, and we don't have someone who can cast Fireball to save all of our butts. Yes, that that is what. Wait, that was her, right? Mm. Lauren did cast yep. that a couple Lauren, of times. Yep, yep. Yeah. Firebolt. So, so it's yeah, she had firebolt. Yeah, yeah no. but at that level, it was just firebolt. No, she cast so, a fireball. I remember. Yeah, she cast a fireball during that battle. 
during the Will Watch Outpost? Yeah, she fireballed that whole bit. Uh, bed. Oh, yeah, the whole yeah room. because she hit me, and now you lost yeah. the death <laughs> Never mind. That's... Yeah. So, and again, I'll, like, convey how many tents there were on there, how many looked like there were people inside, right, that they had been set up for soldiers so that we have an idea of, hey, let's not try the same thing we did before. I'm going to say it's going to be seven small tents because that's all I got in one big tent. So there's 14 soldiers plus the three that are outside on guard duty, plus the two that are outside the big tent, and then the commander on the inside, plus the one who is walking around, and there is space in there for dragon elves. So we need help, is what I'm hearing. Do we? Can we cast sending to see where our army is, where Derek's at? Dashin's not familiar with your army. No, but uh, Derek is with Ishran, so he could cast it sending on Ishran. Sorry, that I should have specified. Derek is not with Ishran. They were at the temple. Yeah, they said they met up at the temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, did the last this last ending? Oh, oh, okay. You certainly try. Dash is just like I don't want to waste a spell slot for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost sleepy time. I'm gonna get him back. I thought I was about to go get captured. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I, I did want to do sending to Ishvern, but more to just relay our location to Ish to Ishvern. Um, okay, so I guess I'm announced to the party that I'm getting ready to communicate with Ishvern. Put your input in, but I can only do so many words. I was just going to tell him that, uh, you know, we've, we've arrived and we don't really know the amount of foes. and We are a outnumbered. One way in, one way out, kind of thing. So uh, we're we're planning right now. But uh, is there anything else? Should I leave that part out? What part? About that we're we're not taking action and we're planning. Well, we need his help. Oh, ask for backup from Ishvan. And from our army, if they're still there. You all have an army. Sort of, yeah. Is hmm. it a bunch yeah, of? Is it our army? <laughs> we're part of that army we're, we're like the scouts yeah we're like the advanced uh, the avant-garde you seem reassured <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, so I'm going to go that... ahead and ask Ishvan if he's got any reinforcements yeah alright then uh, I'm going to cast sending uh, to Ishvan 25 words or less yes sir and knock off that second spell slot. Um, I guess Carrie's keeping count for you. Preparing to. Mm -hmm. Ishvern, we've arrived at Camp Carrie and Clay. One word, two words. Carrie and Clay. Two. two. Carrie and Clay is one word, but Camp Carrie and Clay, two words. Okay. Um, numerous foes, unclear entry and exit, where are you, and then back up, question mark. About, like... Couple of minutes goes by and says, this, this, "Destin, my friend, uh, your friend Derrett and your, I'm sorry. can you hold the count up for me sorry. too? Uh, somebody disconnected. Hold on, Vera disconnected."
Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know what she meant. Uh, did she put in chat? No. She said she was having trouble with the internet. I think. Uh, I earlier. See. Uh, no, that was Ziggy. Oh, it was. Sorry, never mind. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, she says, uh, Justin, my friend, your f the Dariot fellow in the army went to pursue. Haven't seen them in days. I got four left. Uh, four nine. and then nine, nine. Okay. We were dealing with a giant worm. So we... Oh, wait. <laughs> got five left? No, no that's. Left. I think that's it. Well, if you count so be, then yes. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So we... <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so yeah, yeah Ishburn's dealing with some giant worms. I'm not really Rip. sure what that means, but it, it sounds like they're kind of indisposed. He did say that your army that you speak of is is pursuing something. Uh, you know, but I, I, I sadly I don't know if he's just a few a, a half a day's journey behind us or two weeks. Can I try the Fargab and see if I can get in contact? Uh, go ahead and try. I will use the Fargab. 18 miles. All right, what are you trying to say? Hello, hello, testing. Can anyone hear me? Get no reply. Mm -hmm. uh, give me... A nature check or survival, your choice. Let's see, it's plus three in nature, so I'll do that. That's an 18. Uh, as you're doing this, you probably gather all the water and flooding. It's probably slowed them down. It's understandable. Well, unless we want to wait a week for people to catch up with us, probably we won't be getting back up. So we're back to square one, whatever that means. We go in at night. Take out as many as we can. Free the prisoners and leave. Well, if we what, need, what are these if big our fellows that plan, you keep bringing up? Are they, are, are, they, are they extremely difficult? What's, what's, what's the story behind these? You said you fought them before. What are they? They're stronger than the usual little, well, I say little, they're all big, uh, dragon army, dragony ones. They're bigger and they're tougher and I think they use magic? I can't remember. You're talking about the, the small ones? The silver ones. Oh, the silver ones. Let me double check, because you did see one... Uh, no, they have... Well, he was a paladin or something. Uh, no, they could, sh uh, shapeshift. Ooh. I don't think I would have known that. <laughs> I don't think y'all physically seen, because he had already shift shapeshifted in his full form when he came and attacked you guys, but... Uh, so, yeah, never mind, y'all wouldn't have known that, but... No, I, I do not relay that information that I do not have in my brain. Um, yeah, no, they're bigger, they're tougher... They fight real good. Do you know uh, when they this one died, uh, formed a spectral or whatever that. Um, and it scared me, frightened yep. me. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. You know, They're ghosty. Yeah. Yep. And so, it was a, and it was a form on. of, I think, Belrum. It takes the form of whoever, whatever killed him. Yes. So, continuing on the plan before I was interrupted, we leave 
two on the outside, whoever it is, but one of them should be wearing the armor, the other should be the elf. As we're in there doing that, that would be the distraction to pull the guards from the front gate. Otherwise, the noise that we might make on there would bring them in and that would cause the alarm. We do have a tower. Gary, I would think that would be your specialty to go and um, procure... Hmm, that's not the right word. Entertain those who might be up there who could sound an alarm to make sure that uh, they don't sound an alarm. I can go ahead and Ziggy, if you think you're up to it, uh, we can go and start dispatching any of the soldiers that are in there. Has to be at night, somewhere. Oh, Ziggy, you can't because you can't see at night. No, I I, I believe that, I don't know how long it lasts, but Mela has given me some sort of night vision. I would be happy to rain uh, arrowy death down upon no, whoever you point this at. This is not arrowy death this is hand to hand can you handle no, that i know you humans are a little squeamish on actual being close to things i i think there's no reason why this can't be a a, a, a ranged attack they're in tents they're sleeping how are your arrows going to make it through the tents quietly and hit them once guaranteed to take them out and not sound alarm explain that one to me uh, sure. And that it's leaves Vera and Mela, who can get in the armor of the soldiers. And as we're doing this, again, to draw out the guards, act as they're bringing Deshaun in, or Dastion, excuse me, as a prisoner. That'll distract the guard tower because you'll be wearing the armor of obviously the group that we've already encountered once that should pull them away and hopefully pull the three from the gate. What about the uh, set fire to everything like we talked about before? I could help. Maybe I can make a signal and when the alarms are taken care of, you can watch from a signal and when I do that you can start doing fire like we could try to burn them in their tents while they sleep like rather than sneaking in and poking yeah but wait for the wait for could, the signal yeah we could just uh like all sneak up there up to a different tent everyone sets fire to the tent and they just you know uh, uh die in their burning tent have you ever been in a fire Uh, I don't know. Why, 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 what, 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 why don't you tell us about it? But if we just let them sleep? Well, the problem that we have is that there are two other guards on the inside that are awake, standing outside of another tent, which probably has the commander in there. As I explained, you were probably coming up with another poem or sonnet while I was talking about that. So letting them sleep, setting seven tents on fire simultaneously and expecting all the soldiers not to panic and run out, but to automatically die. While we have two guards who are inside and three guards outside, plus again, at least one commander. Yeah, I guess plus if they're dragons, they probably don't burn anyway. Well, we draw the three at the gate away with the pretend guard and the pretend prisoner. Then I guess two of us who are invisible sneak in through the gate while they're distracted. Well, didn't... Well, I can sneak in. You obviously can sneak in. You're the master at this. Ziggy, isn't there some way you can sneak in? Uh, Maybe I he can be sneaky. like back a ways and assist the two with long bonus shots the sniper I mean I can cast a spell that'll make the whole party as sneaky as humanly possible I just realized 
Oh. Mm. Gives us a plus 10 bonus on our stealth oh. checks. Probably should have thought about that a ways ago. Um, but I'm just looking at my stuff just now. Uh, but I do have pass without trace. That could if we be want useful. a doll sneak up. Yeah. Yeah, if me and Burrum go in and sneak through the door while these three entertain the three guards, we can sneak up well. Trips. First sneak up the tower and take out the ones in the tower and disable all that nonsense. And then sneak back down and take out the two guards outside the big tent. And then there's no witnesses. Let's do it all we very hush hush. We still have the guards on the inside and the possible commander. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We take out the two after we've taken out the tower. Mm -hmm. so if we take out the guards first, the tower will see us. Okay. We take out the tower first, then we can go down and take care of those two. Agreed. Is there only one tower? Did I only see one tower, Jugan? You're muted. You're muted. It's, it's a massive tower, yeah. There's only one big tower. Okay. So, so if we sneak up there and very quietly take out sentries or whatever and take out the alarms if there are any, that could be a do. And then we can just very quietly release the prisoners and leave and no one will be the wiser. And I'm sure there is a gate in the back. Most forts do not have only a one single entrance and exit. Otherwise, they would be trapped in there in case of a siege. Yeah, maybe one hidden somewhere. That's a mighty big assumption. It's so, a if the logical... sentries and the guards are dead, we can just walk out while right. the rest are sleeping. Yeah, but, but that then kit, assumes they could they could fly, right? Like they don't need multiple entrances and exits. Well, I know Vera can take care of the guards on the outside when it comes to killing them. Mela is going to be there for support. Dastion, you you do you. Whatever you do. Uh, and then Ziggy else. as a sniper, if that's the plan. And then you and I uh, sneak in. I like it. Yeah, and Ziggy, you concentrate in on the... Uh... Passing without a trace thing. There's no way this could go wrong. Well, I don't know what you sure. mean by concentrate. I mean, we're going to be really far away from Ziggy. Um, yeah, question. Um, pass without a trace, is that only when you're within a certain range of the caster? Or once it's cast on you, so it stays we, with you? It stays with you, but you when you initially cast it, it stays with you. But if he, if he casts it, you're not around and you don't get it. Yep. You don't you don't uh, have to stay within him once he does it. Yep. yep. Yeah. That's what it's I anyone I choose within thirty feet of me. Uh it is a concentration. It lasts up to an hour, but it doesn't it doesn't address whether it no. you wander off from thirty it, feet. You could as long as you're there when you as long as everybody's there when you cast it, they have it for an hour. As long as you're concentrating on it. Okay. So don't lose concentration. So you don't try to cast hats if you're trying to keep it. <laughs> or Hunter's Mark. Wait, or, is Hunter's sorry, Mark? Hunt, it is Hunter's Mark, yeah. Yep. Um, but what will I do if I can't cast Hunter's Mark? It's not rangery enough. Right. It's all I do. Uh well yeah, when we're ready to go, I, I will um cast I'll a probably spell. Probably rest tonight and like during the day tomorrow and do this tomorrow night, yeah? Sure. So we all got our spells and everything? Or we do it now. I was going to say, I, I hate to side with the dwarf on this one, but if we uh, if we wait too long, you know, just as likely that backup for this dragon army shows up. What if another battalion moves through here? Mm. That's a good and point. We are kind of on the high ground and visible once the sun comes out to that tower that's straight across from us. Well, I do yeah. believe Mila's tent could help us with that one. And you just be on the other side too. But then we can't see if there are any changes during the day. 
That's true. Does the tent have a... Does it expire like 12 hour maximum or something? Or is it a 24 hour? I think hour? it was eight. It's eight, eight hours. hours. Eight. Well, we can do it now. If people have got the spells and stuff for it. Up to you guys. But nothing's been up to me, so whatever we do, I'm down. Quiet, prisoner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you want to do, and then we can call it. Sounds like that's what we're doing. So you're going to go do it now? We're going to let me get captured now. And I'll use sending to determine when they should act on part two. Yeah? Oh, wasn't it that you were being escorted by guard? And, and then... that's drawing out the three guards on the gate? Okay. That's it, yeah? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, yep. So, so to be clear, I mean, we're, we're are we stopping for the night or we're going to, well, I guess we are. Well, so, as I, so as, I mean, it's about, it's about that time. So as soon as y'all come up with a plan or whatever, and uh, before you start to execute it, that's what I was going to call it. But if y'all want to keep talking about it, sure. So, Gary, I think if there is, guards up there, the expectation would be that the guards would notify of approaching soldiers, enemies, anything like that. We allow them to somehow see Vera and Mela in the dragon army armor with a prisoner, notify the guards at the front, then we take them out. That should allow the guards to move forward and approach Beer and Malo, as we go and dispatch the other ones that are down there, somehow we have to let them know to kill the guards that are then approaching them. And we take out the other two big guards inside. Does that make sense? I think so. That would, well, that's, that's how we would have approached it with, is it Cudgel, Jugan? Cudgel. Cudgel. Yeah, that's how we would have approached it uh, with Cudgel. She was always great at planning shush, shush, this. So the guards in the tents don't wake up. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right. Agreed. And we're doing and this now tonight. We, now we're making Jugan do a lot of painting <laughs> for the week. Hey, speed paints. Thank God I have them. Let's do it. All right. That being said, uh, as y'all get prepared to execute this plan, that's where we'll call it for tonight. And then next week we'll pick up here with said plan. Um, I think the title's the video should be like, how many plans can we make for deciding or something? I don't know. If you want to think of some titles for this episode, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part was. Uh, we'll turn it over one last time to our fellow streamers. Uh, we'll start with uh, Rain. Uh, yeah, I uh, cleanse the grain playing Dash and Yenvery here uh, and having a lot of fun with it. Um, I have been on a hiatus for a few months, got some things in order, about ready to make a return uh, probably within the next 30 days. Uh, looking to probably jump on some Power World, been playing that a lot and, uh, and uh, some new interesting ideas there. So I hope to uh, come back with some survival crafting and indie content. Just like we uh, like we used to do at the storm. All right, uh, Nyla. Also playing Power World currently, um, but again, uh, I'm having some technical difficulties for streaming. So until that is fixed, it's on hiatus. 
and Old Man Garrus. I am Old Man Garrus playing Belrum here in this wonderful campaign. I will be streaming again starting this week playing, yes, Hal World also. What a surprise. Uh, and working on a lot of discovery there before going back to No Man's Sky and D&D planning. Nice. Uh, that being said, stick around for the raid. We'll be raiding Beards and Barbarians tonight. We haven't raided them in a while. At the time, they're not on when we are about to raid out. So we're going to raid in, show some love. If you are a subscriber to the channel, these are the raid emotes. And if you're just a follower, don't worry, I got follower emotes for raids also. So make sure you take those and put them in chat and show them we, how much we love them. And uh, until next week, uh, have a wonderful night and have a great weekend. Have a good night, guys. Yeah.